All right, what up, what up, what up? What's popping, what's good? Hold on, let me get on this, uh, on my page real quick. Make sure everything is, is working right. All right, so everything's working right. What's popping, everybody? Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button as soon as you get in. Let me pin this donate button at the top. You feel what I'm saying? What's going on, everybody? What's good? What's good, man? So, you know, we got we got to talk about, uh, you know, <laughs> my favorite topic in the world, looks. You understand? And, and you know, all that other shit and all that other craziness. But we're we going to get into it. We're going to go crazy and make it happen. Uh, you know, because there's, there's some points we need to make in this, uh, you know, when it comes to this game. You feel me? But shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to everybody tuning in. Remember, make sure you guys hit the like button as, uh, as soon as you get in. You feel me? And let's let's get this cracking. Let's get this cracking. So I titled the show, you know, why ugly men should give up on trying to get women. Why ugly men should give up on trying to get women. Right. So uh, man, I got I got I got to laugh when I say this shit. Um. Because there's some people on the internet, I'm going to call these guys uh, YouTube virgin experts, right? So these YouTube virgin experts, you know, they say that, you know, ugly men or guys who don't look good should give up on dealing with women, right? Now, these YouTube virgin experts, I, I you know, if what they're saying is true, if what they're saying is they're saying, well, you know what? A guy can't get girls unless he looks good. If he's not good looking, it's over for him. It's a fucking rap. He's finished. Hold on. Let me put the uh, the banner up here so you guys can know that you can call. You know what I'm saying? Donation rules still apply. You feel me? But that's calling number 516-387-1224, 516-387-1224. And uh, before we get into all of that, Guys, make sure that you get this book, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, ebook, hard copy, or audio book. How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, ebook, hard copy, or audio book. Go to mrlocario.com and get your copy today. You feel me? So, but um, but yeah, there's a there's a lot of these guys out here who they really believe that if you're not a good looking guy, that you can't get women. And there's some guys out here who are, you know, they're they're not experienced with women. They don't get girls and they're trying to get girls. And they may be thinking, damn, well, you know what? I'm, I'm too ugly to get women. I can't get this. So this video is mainly for guys like this, guys who aren't really that well versed in the game. And, you know, they don't really know what's going on. And I don't want these guys to get confused and start listening to the YouTube virgin experts. You feel what I'm saying? And y'all know who I'm talking about. I'm not, I don't need to really, uh, <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's ridiculous, right? It's ridiculous, right? So the thing is this, all of the, I, I'll say this off top just to get this out the way. How come I'm not even seeing, I'm not seeing these goddamn uh, chats in the fucking stream yard. The stream yard's going slow as shit, but I, I could see it on my, um, on my phone, but the stream yard is going slow as shit for some reason. That's weird. Anyway, so uh, I'll say this first hand first off so we get this out the way. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I don't know why I'm not seeing my fucking comments on the stream yard. This shit is killing me. Hold on, let me see something. Let me try to comment. I'll put hashtag did you donate? You guys can donate. StreamYard is acting funny as far as like pulling the comments up. So I got to look at my phone. But anyway, um, yeah, so the thing is this. I'll say this off top so we get this out the way, right? If you're a guy who, uh, you know, women that you encounter consider you good looking, right? There are some women who are going to be sexually attracted to you because of the way you look. Right. If you encounter women who think you're good looking, there's going to be women who are going to want to have sex with you because of the way you look. If you encounter women who think you're good looking and notice, I keep saying women who think you're good looking. 
You understand what I'm saying? If you encounter women who think you're good looking, you may have an easier time, uh, you know, having sex with those women versus a guy who they think isn't good looking. Right now, that's going to happen. But what guys don't understand is, is that you do not need to be the best looking guy ever. You don't need to be a male my. You don't have to have a six pack. You don't have to be buff. You understand what I'm saying? Um, you don't, you know, need to be, you don't need to have all of this shit in order to get girls. But a lot of guys, they think that if you don't look good, you can't make it happen. Now, this is the, this is the reason why I titled this, why ugly men should give up, uh, you know, trying to get women, right? This is what I'm saying when I say, you know, uh, why guys should just give up trying to get women. And the thing is this, Going based off of the logic from the YouTube virgin experts, right? What they say is, <laughs> they say that if you look a certain way, you can't get girls. So if this is true, then why are you trying to get girls? You understand what I'm saying? If this is true, why are you trying to get girls? What else I see King Dre in the chat was popping. Um, who else I see in the chat? Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. For some reason, my chat on this shit, I'm not seeing it on the fucking uh, stream yard, but I got to look at my phone to see see what y'all saying in the, in the fucking uh, comments. This shit is acting funny right now. Um, but yeah, this, this is the thing. A lot of these dudes out here who are YouTube virgin experts, they're going to tell you that if you don't look good, you can't get women. So if you don't look good and you can't get women, then why are you bothering? Why are you bothering? It's, it's done for you. It's over for you. Why do these guys bother? You understand? And why do these guys continue to try to watch dating relationship stuff? Why do guys keep talking about it? Because if you are ugly and that's a fact that you're ugly, right? Even though, you know, it's all opinion, it's all subjective. But if it's a fact that you're ugly, and you can't get girls, why are you trying? That's what, that's all I want to know. I'm, I want to know why, why are these guys trying? Why are they bothering to make this happen? You see what I'm saying? Because there's no, there's no point. There's no point. So, <laughs> so again, my thing is what, what is the point of dudes, uh, you know, trying to make shit happen if they can't make it happen. Now, what I find funny is this. Okay, now I'm starting to see the fucking comments. They, they coming in a little bit. Hold on. Now I think I'm starting to see the comments. I think they're coming in. I don't know. What's up with StreamYard? This shit is weird. But anyway, this is what, this is what uh, I, I, I want to say. And this is how I debunk all of this good-looking, ugly... All this other nonsense with dudes just talking about, well, it's not about game. It's just about looks, all this other crazy shit, right? You got to understand that what happens is this, is that let's use, let's use me for an example. Let's use me for an example, right? Let's use myself for an example, right? So there's a lot of guys on the internet that'll say, you know, and I've seen message boards. I've seen dudes in comment section say this. I've seen all of this shit. So this is me, not bullshit. This is me saying what is actually happening and what I'm seeing, right? So I see dudes talking about me all the time, but they'd be like, oh, Mr. Locario, he's so ugly. Mr. Locario's ugly. How, how, is he, how is he a male model? He's so ugly, right? So I'm like, okay, cool. Let's say I'm ugly. So if I'm ugly but I'm getting girls, then doesn't that debunk the whole thing of you have to be really good looking to get women? You understand what I'm saying? Doesn't that debunk that? If I'm ugly, but I'm getting girls, doesn't that debunk the whole thing of it's only about looks and if you're ugly, you shouldn't bother? Right? Right? Now, oh, we got Miles up in the building. What's popping, bro? What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? What's going on? So, yeah, so I titled the show Why Ugly Men Should Give Up on, uh, you know, 
on dating and getting women and trying to get women. Oh my god! You know what I'm saying? So you're such a you're such a troll, Mister Lucario. So, <laughs> so you know, so I'm just saying, like motherfuckers, just should just should just be over with it. But this is what I was saying. I was saying that a lot of you know, I've seen a lot of message boards. I've seen a lot of things where guys say, you know, and talking about me personally, I'm using myself as an example. They'll say Miss Locario is ugly as hell, right? So I'm like, okay, cool. Let's say I'm ugly. So if I'm ugly, should I not? Shouldn't I not be getting women? Right. But I'm getting women. So if I'm ugly, then how am I getting women? Yes. How are you? How, how right. You see what I'm saying? So either either I'm ugly and can't get women, or I'm good looking and I can't get which one is. You can't have both. Where I'm ugly and I'm getting women. If it's all about looks, right well, now. Well, well, you know, it's it's about your status. Right, right. That's you're you're, gonna... you're the Mister Lucario, though. Right, exactly. That's what they're gonna say. I mean, even though you were always ugly, right, right, and you exactly. and you 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 got with mad bitches before you became the Mister Lucario. Exactly. But that's 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 what that's what they're gonna say. Well, you 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 just your status. Oh, oh, and you you modeled for Polo jeans, and you right, right. That's what they're gonna say. Right, you know what I'm saying, and it, and it's the stupid part. Now let's say somebody's like, "Oh well, Miss Locario, you're not ugly. You're a good-looking guy," and they're just trolling, and that's why you're getting girls. Okay, cool. Let's go with that. Now, if I'm a good-looking dude, right, and it's all about looks, how come I get rejected so much? You understand what I'm saying? So, so either way you put it, right, there's still game that comes into the situation. Wait, because- wait, wait. Hold up. <laughs> so you're. You're you're the Mr. Lucario, right? <laughs> and 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 you got you get you got you got women. You get rejected still. Exactly, exactly, exactly. I know, right? Captain nigga. I know, right? <laughs> Guys like you who who have a a jawline and, and exactly. stuff, you don't get rejected ever. I know. It's, Every it's, time you say hello to a girl, the next step is her sucking your dick. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So these guys don't even realize how ridiculous they sound, bro. Like that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Because I'm like, again, if I'm if I'm if I'm ugly but I'm getting girls, what does that mean then? By their logic, that means that there gotta be some sort of game, right? But if I'm good looking but I'm getting rejected all the time, or not, you know, not all the time, but a lot of times, right? Mm-hmm. Then that means that it's not all about looks. So either way you want to go, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It don't make sense. <clears throat> it don't make sense, guys. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. But I, but like I said, I call these guys who say this, they're, they're YouTube virgin experts. These are guys who are virgins, but they have all the expertise on what women like and what women are attracted to and what women want to want to fuck with. You understand what I'm saying? Like, this is the, 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 the craziest shit ever. You understand? That's like, that's like me fucking... You know, uh, trying to tell a nigga how to how to fucking you know build uh, uh, what was it do open heart surgery? I never went to medical school. You understand? I've never been a doctor. I don't know shit about shit about medicine. But I'm telling niggas what it takes to do open heart surgery and perform surgery. You understand what I'm saying? Does that mean, would you would you take that person seriously? So how do you take a person who is a virgin or has hardly ever had any experience with women telling you what women are going to like or what women find attractive or what women are going to want to uh, fuck with. And on top of that, these are guys. Guys can't tell you what women find attractive. Period. You understand what I'm saying? Period. You may think you know what the chick finds attractive, but you don't know because you're not that girl or you're not girls in general. And on top of that, like I said earlier, Everything depends on the specific girl and the specific guy in the situation. Right. You know what I'm saying? So a a woman may see Miles and be like, yo, Miles is fine as hell. And then she see me and be like, "Eh, nah, he whack. You understand? Or she might see me say, oh, Lucario's fine as hell. She see Miles be like, eh, he whack. You understand what I'm saying? She ain't gonna say that. That bitch ain't understood. (laughs) <laughs> I was like, that ain't never happened. <laughs> ain't never happened. <laughs> Hold on, let's go to let's go to uh let's go to a call real quick. Let's go to three four six. Three four six. What's popping? Who's this? What's going on? Who's this? What's good, Mr. Macario? Uh, is uh Mark Anthony? 
what's going good, on, Mark good, Anthony? Claudio, what's good, Mark? Can y'all hear me? We can hear yeah, you. We hear you, man. What's going on, man? Problem, but Mark Anthony, I'm only giving you three minutes because I know you be trying to go for for ten minutes. But go ahead. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna make it quick. On like last time, but I just want to make a statement, a real quick statement, mm-hmm. and also ask you a question. Right. So I've been out here approaching a bunch of women, and I'm getting better in my approaches. In mm-hmm. other words, by getting better, I mean I'm doing a lot of things that I wasn't doing uh, before mm-hmm. due to my fear. So I have conquered my fear. But um, in relation to this topic, a lot of men need to understand that yes. Women and men are visual. Mm-hmm. Yes, women and men are emotional, but you got to understand women are just like us on a, a, a visual aspect. You know, when they see a man, because they have eyes just like we do, when they see a man, they go, damn, he's so sexy. Damn, he's so fine because I'm on this app called TikTok. Right. And so, you know, in the comment section, when a woman sees a man that looks good, she's like, damn, he looks so good. And I'm like, yo, these women sound like us. These women sound thirsty like mm, them right but then here's where women are different emotional like they are so fucking emotional like mr lucario when i was not approaching these bitches and i used to listen to you and miles on youtube i'm like damn like i really didn't believe y'all even though i did believe y'all at the same time like it's something it's different when you hear it but mm. when you see it and you're actually experiencing it is different. Right. So like on the emotional aspect, that man that looks good could say something mm. and she goes, her, her wet ass pussy goes from wet to dry immediately. Mm-hmm. Immediately. Mm-hmm. And you know, me, me on that aspect, like us men, we're not like that. We're not like that at all. We, a woman can say the dumbest shit, but if she look good, we still want to fuck. So, right. you know, being out here, uh, this goes into my question also. Miles, I remember I called him to one of your shows and I was telling you about the whole COVID situation and how I felt like it was restricting my game. And you said use that to your advantage. The other day I was at the mall. This was my first time ever doing this. I was at the mall. I saw a girl who was thick as fuck like her mama. Her mama was right there. So I went up to them. I'm like, yo, ma'am, like, uh, your daughter looks so good. Like, uh, are you responsible for bringing this sexy ass woman into the world? They start laughing. They start giggling. The mom gave her daughter to me. She was like, oh, you so respectful, da, 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 da. So I took her daughter. We went on a little mini uh, date inside the mall. Mm. This date was like for three minutes. I took her to the corner. Uh, Miles was like, you know, use the whole COVID situation with the max to your advantage. I was like, I know you look sexy with that max, um, behind that max. Bring it down. She was like, no. So I brought it down and I leaned in and I kissed her. This was my fucking first time doing this on my first approach. In my head, I was like, what the fuck is going on right now? I'm grabbing on this bitch's ass in the mall. So we exchanged numbers after the kiss and da 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 da. I hit this bitch up. She gives me one word answers. I'm like, yo, I know this from approaching women. I know where this is going. So I'm like, yo, send me, you know, a date in time, like, so that I, I can set a schedule on, like, when you're free, da 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 da. Mm-hmm. She, I never heard from this bitch. Mm-hmm. And I know this has to do with the emotional part, but Mr. Lucario and Miles, you guys being inside the game, my question is, what is actually going through a woman's head when she's not responding? Because I decided to, you know, charge it to the game, but I want to also learn more from this experience since you guys are in it. All right, cool. So, uh, so Miles, you wanna you wanna take that first? Okay. Um, <clears throat> I get that you want to know what's going on in a woman's mind, but the truth is, it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, that's the truth. The truth is, it doesn't matter. The truth is, is that as soon as she as soon as soon as she begins to to become non-responsive, or as soon as she gets out of the zone that you had her in when y'all was in the mall, it's it's she's charged on to the next female. That's all you need to know. You don't need to wonder why or how because okay. when you if and when you actually figure out what's going on in the female's mind, you're going to realize that you have wasted time yeah. trying to figure it out and you're going to be so pissed off at yourself because you're going to be like, "Damn, all the time I took to figure this shit out, what was going on in her mind? I could have talked to three or four bitches already." Mm-hmm. Right. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. trying to figure out what's going on in someone else's mind is of no is of no real concern to you. Now what I what I might say is is that in certain you just said it like women are emotional in the situation that that she was in maybe she was out with her mom 
and her mom is boring as shit. You came up, made them laugh. You took her on a on a on a on a mini date. So you made her feel good within the moment. Do you understand? Right. But but mm-hmm. and maybe she didn't bother to tell you that she had a boyfriend. And that she would, she probably going through shit with, with her man right now. But at the time that you came up to her, she w- was feeling like, hey, I would like to be entertained by another man at this particular moment. And I'm out here shopping with my boring ass mama. You understand? Right. So she was feeling you for the time. Right. Your job is to enjoy yourself. Right. And your job is to check and see if she's down to meet you again for another day. And if she's not, your job also is to keep it the fuck moving. You, mm-hmm. it, it ain't your job to figure out what's going on in that bitch's mind. It's your right. job to enjoy the time that you had with her. Check and see if you can repeat that. And if not, keep that shit moving, bro. It, it's not your, it, it, that shit. It, I get why you're curious and this, that, and the third, but the, by, at the end of the day, bro, it don't matter. It's your job to continue on and keep moving. That's it. Mm-hmm. Now that's facts. And because the thing is, you, you okay. will we'll never know <laughs> what's going on in the chick's She probably mind. don't even fucking know. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of times women are just, they're going based off of how they feel and sometimes they don't even know why they feel the way they feel. So even if you asked her, she couldn't Yo, even tell you sometimes. You see what I mean? So so the thing is, is all Yo. you need to think about is, is she responding to you, period? And that's if she's it. not responding to you, then you keep it pushing. You see what I mean? That's it. That's Yo, all it is, bro. Th- Ms. McCarty, that's crazy because I'll be with my sisters and my mom mm. and, you know, and other women. And I'll be like, why are you doing this? Right. And they be like, because I feel like it. I'm like, <laughs> okay, so what's up with you doing this? They're like, I don't even know why I feel the way that I feel. I'm just doing it because I feel like it. And right. I'm like, what the fuck? Exactly. So that's, I guess that's you're it. right. That's it. That's it. So that's why you can't, that's why you can't really stress yourself out. All you got to think about is, is she doing what I wanted her to do? And if she's not, I'm going to keep it moving. If she is, then I'll, I'll keep it going with her. And, and just keep it that simple. You know what I'm saying? So don't, don't, you know, don't even make it because a lot of guys, what they'll do is, is that they'll uh, make it too much about them. They'd be like, oh, she did that because she ain't like me or she thought I was ugly or, blah, blah. you know, it's just like, don't even worry about any of that shit. You understand what I'm saying? Because even if that was the case, it don't even matter. You ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody right. got time for that. Right. You know what I mean? See, I'm going I'm, to I'm, I'm, I'm give you some, I'm going to give you something real quick, bro. Your, your, your problem is. Yeah. Is that um, and th- and this is why we tell this is why this is why we talk about masculinity, bro. Because here it is, you met this girl, she was thick, you apparently impressed her mom, and you was able to even like instantaneously uh bring her bring out her attraction to you. So you were able to kiss her and whatever, whatever. You understand? Right. And what happened to you, bro? Sadly is that you fell in love with that feeling. You can't mm-hmm. fall in love with no feeling, bro. Fact. You can't fall in love with no feeling. You right. got to enjoy that shit. Be in love with it while you're feeling it, while it's happening. When mm-hmm. it's done, right. it's done. Right. Do you understand? When it's done, it's done. Right. So that means right. the only time that you're thinking about that girl is if she's in front of you again. Yeah. If she gives, if she if she gives it another chance to to hang out with you again, then you you can you can be in you can be as in love as you want to be in the moment right then right there where, where she's in front of your face. Once the date is over and you kiss her goodbye, that's it. No, mm. then cut the fucking emotions, cut the cut all of that shit off. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's what happens with a lot of guys. It's like, oh my god, like uh, what happened, nigga? I don't care what happened. Mm-hmm. You was right. responding to me earlier in the mall. Now you're not. You're charged. You're done. Right. That's why. So that's the that's the thing about man about about masculinity. We like we. It's like this. It's like um, to a certain extent, we only see we only believe shit mm-hmm. if it happens. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Like right. concerning a female, yeah. I don't have, I don't have no feelings. I don't have no thoughts until that bitch is right in front of me talking to me. Right. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, um, cause you got some niggas, they be banking on sex. So yo, I bet you I'll bang that. I bet you I'll smash that bitch. I bet you I'll do that. Nigga, I ain't making no bets until my dick is inside of her, bro. Right, right. <laughs> you feel me? Because with women is way, it's too many different chances, variables, and 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 all these different things that's going on. I it you're you're you'll waste your time trying to figure it all out. Your your number one, your number one priority is to 
check is to just check, check and see if she's fucking with you. If she's mm. not, then she's charged. Right, exactly. That's what it is, bro. You feel right. me? But yo, appreciate man, we appreciate it, the call, Miles. my brother. Thank you. That sounds extremely logical. That's yes, sir. Appreciate uh, your thank call. Thank you, Mr. Locario. Um, up. Yeah, I'm going to stay on the Bad Boy membership. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. And for all you guys on the group chat, just understand that, yeah, physically you can be attractive, but you also have to be attractive emotionally, which is confidence. So right. Facts. appreciate it, you guys. Uh, thank you. That's what's Peace, up, bro. bro. Oh, man, appreciate the donation. That's what's up. So, yeah, guys, call the number is 515-3871. I mean, 516-3871-224. So, uh... Don't say my name unless you know me said in the chat. So how do you define ugly and beautiful look? Right. Again, it's subjective. This is what I'll be trying to explain to you guys. Listen, there's going to be this going to be just like you, you see women, a woman you might think is a 10. I might think she's a fucking five and vice versa. The chick I might think is a 10. You won't think is a five. You understand what I'm saying? We all have different things we like. You understand? Now there's going to be a person. Let's say, for example, you might have a woman who, uh, you know, a lot of guys would say looks good or you have a guy that a lot of women may say he looks good too. You understand what I'm saying? But what happens is it's still subjective because everybody's not going to think that person look good. You understand? It's never going to be a hundred percent of people saying this motherfucker looks good or I'm, I'm attracted to this person. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it, it, real, real quick. For example, somebody just asked in the chat, Oz, Ozzy plunge or whatever that is. It says, miles, do you, do you approach with a hat or do you do the straight cue ball head cue ball approach? Usually, unless it's cold, I, I'm straight cue balling it. I'm I like my bald head. Mm. I like my bald head, and not every woman likes the bald head, but I I like it, and that's what right. counts. So that's right. how I make my approach. Period. You understand? Right. And also, too, this is what you got. Let me let me let me get a little deeper for y'all, so y'all can understand this, right? See, if somebody was to ask me, they say, Miss Locario, uh, how like do you think you're good looking, right? I'd be like, no, I think I'm fucking gorgeous, nigga. You see what I'm saying? Like, I know, and, and I'm not even, I'm not capping. Like, dude, let me tell you guys something. When I was in junior high school, and I, I got teachers who could vouch for this, I had a teacher who would put a mirror on that. We had like these big ass lockers, like we had regular lockers for each of the, the students, and we had a big locker that we would put supplies in. My teacher put a mirror on a magnet mirror on the locker for me because I was always in the fucking mirror checking myself out. You understand what I'm saying? Cause I used to have this little small mirror. I used to check myself out with so that she saw that and she, she, she got me a fucking mirror. She said, you could, you could look at that. You understand what I'm saying? Cause I used to, this is what I'm saying. I used to stare at myself all the time. You see what I mean? And so what I'm saying is, is that I was so in love with myself that when I, uh, uh, dealt with women, right. That energy came off when I deal with women because I was saying, look, because and this is what you guys got to understand. When you think about yourself a certain way, your appearance and your energy is going to follow your thoughts, become your actions. So then what happened was I would get haircuts a lot. I would make sure my shit was shaped up. You understand? My teeth always brushed, smelling good, wearing dope ass clothes. You understand what I'm saying? Had the nice jewelry, all that other shit that came from me in my mind saying, yo, I look fucking good. So how does a guy who looks good look? You understand what I'm saying? How does a guy who looks good appear? You understand what I'm saying? So that's what started to happen in my mind that created me to look the way I look and look better in the eyes of women. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not about you specifically looking. It's just like, uh, let's say a person like, um, and I'll just use like Biggie Smalls as an example. And I know he's famous or whatever. He was a rapper. What I'm saying is this, was that Look at a dude like Biggie, the way that he put himself together and the confidence that he had and that energy that attracts women is not specifically your look because you can look good. You can be a handsome guy and a woman be like, I'm not really feeling this nigga because he doesn't feel it. You understand what I'm saying? He's like, this is why it's why I tell you guys looks and sex appeal are two different things. Right. You can look good and have no sex appeal. And you could not look that good and have sex appeal, or you can look good and have sex appeal. But looking good doesn't automatically mean you have sex appeal. You see what I'm saying? And so this is what dudes don't get. You see what I mean? And so what happens is, is that because a lot of guys in their own mind don't love themselves, don't think that they're attractive, 
You understand what I'm saying? That's the start of why they're not getting the girls to think that they're attractive. You understand what I'm saying? The shit has to start with you. You understand what I'm saying? And then this is what most guys will do. Most guys, what they'll do is they'll come with these fucking, um, these fucking, uh, uh, what you call it? Like these, these, uh, crazy ass comparisons and rationalizations. They're like, well, what if a guy is like four foot seven and he's fat and he's, he's losing his hair, you know, is he, is he gonna, you know, isn't a guy who's six foot five and, and has a six pack and look good. Isn't the six foot five guy, uh, gonna have an easier time getting women. Yes, he is. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, he is. You know why? Because life ain't fair. But guess what? That don't mean that four foot seven guy can't get women. Right. Why, why does that four foot seven guy have to compare himself to the six foot five guy? See, the problem is got a lot of men, truthfully, because they're insecure, they want their ego fed so that they mm. can be validated and feel like they're somebody. You understand right. what I'm saying? That's why they keep comparing themselves to all these other people. A lot of these dudes really don't give a fuck about looking good. A lot of these dudes just want to be loved. Do you understand what I'm saying? And they think that if they looked good, they would get love. You see what I mean? But this is, see, people don't want to talk about this aspect of it. They want to look good because they want to get validated. They want to feel important. They want to feel like they matter. Because in their life right now, they don't matter to women because women aren't checking for them. Women are not fucking with them. So they're like, oh, it's just my looks. Because if I look like that guy, then I'd fucking get these women. So they want to look like him so that they can get validated, so that they can get love, so they can feel important. You see what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is feel important to yourself first. You understand what I'm saying? This is what y'all don't get. This is why guys who y'all think are ugly and it, it, that, that get bad chicks because they love themselves first. But you sitting there busy looking at the dude like, oh, well, he's ugly and he's not going to get girls and I'm ugly and I'm not going to get girls. And I'm like, yo, you you focusing on the wrong shit. Mm. You, understand? No, you have no idea what any particular woman is going to be interested in. And on top of that, what happens is, is that there's so many variations of what women like it's ridiculous, meaning that there's a lot of women who would like myself, uh, Myron, uh, Miles, and fucking Freshman CEO. And we all look different. And, and, and one girl will like all of us and think and probably think all of us are attractive. You understand what I'm saying? For different reasons. Just like you may see a girl, you think, oh, this girl's bad, this other girl's bad, and they totally look different. Right? So it's not a thing where, um, you know, every girl that you are uh, talking to or interacting with look exactly the fucking same and you only like those girls who look like that. Y'all know that's bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? So what would make you think that you could meet a girl or meet women and they only like one type of fucking, uh, uh, you know, chick? I mean, one type of dude. You understand what I'm saying? So this, this is what dudes got to get, man. And so when you start believing this fuck shit about, oh, well, you know, I'm too ugly and this guy's too ugly and it's over him, understand those are guys who have never, ever fucking dealt with women. I'm just like, it's insane. You got all of these virgin experts out here and it's, it's like insane how these dudes actually gravitate to that stupid shit. It's weird. It's so weird, man. I'm just like, man, because I'm like, I'm like, look, I've been doing this shit for damn near 12, 13 years at this point. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Coached thousands of motherfuckers. You understand what I'm saying? Coached women. All this other stuff. And I see the type of du- type of uh, uh, dudes that these women date. Nigga, you think, y'all think y'all thinking chicks only dating like, you know, uh, model looking dudes? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Y'all crazy. There's not even enough model looking dudes to go around. So... <laughs> I mean, just off sheer numbers, there's going to be guys who are average, everyday, regular looking looking dudes who's going to get girls. So when you guys are sitting there talking about, oh, well, you're too ugly or I'm too ugly to get girls, understand it's because your game is fucking weak. You understand what I'm saying? That's it. Your game is weak. And these damn virgin experts on YouTube, it's it's sad. It's it's almost... (laughs) It's just funny to me how these dudes, they're so fucking adamant on the shit that they're doing and thinking that's it. Because look, I'm going to tell you right now, 
uh, I say this, like I said earlier, yes, if you look good, right? Women who find you attractive, physically attractive, can be sexually attractive to you. If you look good, yes, you're going to probably have an easier time attracting women than a guy who doesn't look that good. You understand? Just off the bat. You understand? I'm, I'm saying this right now to you guys, right? So I'm not say, sitting here saying, oh, well, you know, it, 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 it totally doesn't matter. But on the flip side, these virgin experts, what they say is they say it's only about looks. It don't right. got shit to do with your personality. It ain't got shit to do with your appearance. It ain't got shit to do with nothing else but looks. But these virgin experts, they don't realize that it has a lot to do with a lot because they don't have experience. And therefore, they're just looking at shit. They look at a lot of TV. They look at a lot of, uh, uh, you know, they, they, they watch a lot of fucking blogs and all that other goofy shit. You understand what I'm saying? And so they believe shit that they see, but they're not actually uh, living in real life. You understand what I'm saying? It's it's ridiculous, man. Because it's like, they're like, oh, well, look at this guy. He's a Chad and he's he's getting all these girls and these girls are checking him out. No shit. Really? He's a good looking dude. No shit. Like you like Miles. I mean, this is news to me. Like a woman actually is attracted to a good looking guy. Mind fucking blown, bro. Like, I didn't know this was like something we needed to fucking even have a conversation about. Right. You know I mean? Like, right. like, you know what I mean? Like, so what? But the problem is, is that dudes use that for excuses because they say, I don't look like that nigga. So I can't. <laughs> I'm like, come on, bro. Come on, y'all. Like, y'all, <laughs> y'all, y'all got to stop this shit, man. Y'all got to stop this shit, man. Get the likes of people. We got 319 people. Watching right now, the call the number is 516-387-1224, 516-387-1224. You feel what I'm saying? Let's get shit going. Let's get shit going, man. And guys, if you have any questions, you could also leave the questions in the chat. You feel what I'm saying? To get this shit popping. Man, I, it's it's sad out here, bro. I'm telling you it's sad out here. It's sad out of here. I'm t- like, these dudes, it's like they want to live in the misery. You know what I'm saying? He said, when you approach a woman, what makes the difference with the mindset that uh, to believe she already wants you versus she doesn't? Well, this is the thing. Understand that. Let me, let me, let me explain it this way. Let me explain it this way. <laughs> Why do you start to like, remember remember back in the day they used to play songs over and over again on the radio? You know what I'm saying? But they still do shit now on, you know, World Star Hip Hop streaming and all this other shit where you have a, a song from an artist and you'd be like, this shit is whack as fuck, right? He's like, this shit is whack. But then you keep hearing it. You keep hearing it. Everybody keep blasting it. Your boys are saying it's hot shit. The girls are saying this the new joint. They fucking with it. Everybody talking about that's that that's the new nigga right there, right? Then all of a sudden you in the club, and then the shit come on, you start bopping your head and you start liking the shit. Now, why why you like it now? You like it because they've conditioned you, they've told you that it was the shit. You understand what I'm saying? So what happens is is that you have to do that to yourself. You have to tell yourself you're the shit over and over and over and over. And then what's going to happen is you're going to start to become the shit. How does the guy who is the shit looks? How does the guy who is the shit feel about himself? How does the guy who is the shit deal with women? Yeah. How, and how does he behave? Exactly. How does he behave? You see what I mean? And so what happens is you condition yourself to be the shit. So when you approach that girl, you're approaching that girl as the guy who's the shit. You understand? And even if that girl ain't trying to fuck with you, you still the shit after she ain't trying to fuck with you. You understand what I'm saying? But what a lot of dudes do is they think they suck. They 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 hesitate to approach a chick. They finally get the courage to approach a girl. Then the girl shoot him down. And now he's like, you see, it's all about look and because I'm ugly. And that's why I got to wait for choosing signals. Because I'm a pussy ass nigga. And that's what I do. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's what the fuck happened with y'all. Y'all be hoping that chick like you, and then when she don't, you want to cry. So my oh, it's because it is. You understand? It's because it is. Like it, it, it's crazy. What makes the difference? Well, I think to me, what makes it when you approach, what makes the difference with mindset is your behavior. Period. Right. I think I think it's your behavior. Like 
Um, because I mean, it's 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 like the difference between, like, if we want to look at sales, if you don't believe in the product, how do you resp- how do you act trying to sell it as opposed to when you when you really believe in the value of the product? Right, right, you exactly. Understand? Because if if somebody asks you a question about the product, and the way you respond is going to say everything. Because if right. you don't believe in the product, and they say, "How do, you know? You're trying to sell me this bullshit. How do you feel about it?" Right. You'd be like, oh, but with with this, right? <laughs> it, really, it's the same iPhone from last year. I'm just trying to make some more money. Right. Right. right? Exactly. Or you can say, you know, this iPhone has a new chip. It's mm. faster. It has more solid glass. It's scratch resistant. It's waterproof. It it's. I know it's similar to the phone last year, but the improvements have been so much better. Oh my God, you really right. need the phone. Right. Mm-hmm. That's the difference. Like you just you you act differently, bro. Like it's like it's just a like I don't know how you guys do like you yeah, I know it's you just, ask these questions, like they don't be getting it. It's like they don't get it because it's so they so caught up in their head with bullshit. You understand what because, I'm saying? I mean, look, it, it, all of you know. All of you can can um like you can watch cartoons. Mm. You understand? You could you could you could see the difference between how the hero acts and how the villain acts. Right. You understand? You can see um it, it, like if you're watching one of those fucking um Pixar cartoons or you know Toy Story, you can see how the the characters act when they feel like they're they they don't feel confident and then. They 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 go through something and they they re, they realize oh man I'm you know I'm special and my friends like me and I'm a good person right and you see how they act at the by, towards the end of the movie after they've learned something about themselves like these are lessons that we all know bro like I don't understand how y'all don't understand these lessons when it comes to women mm-hmm. you, you understand what I'm saying like you know it's it's it matters because when you believe in yourself you act a certain way. And when you don't believe in yourself, you also act a certain way. That's right. really just it. That's it right there. Facts. Real you talk. You understand? It, I mean, look, but like, think about me and Lakari. Like, we're here because we believe in what we have to talk about. Right. We we, we come on the thing. We dress nice. We try. Like, Lakari got art in the background. He try to make. Mm-hmm. We try to make sure the scenery is good. Right. I, I, you know, I, I, I my light went out just now. I made sure I put the light back on. Because I want you guys to see me, I want you guys to hear me. Like we went out, we, we go out, we buy fucking equipment so exactly. we can make sure you guys can 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 hear us and see us better. If we didn't care, if we didn't believe in what we were saying, would we invest? Would we do all of this shit? No. Exactly. Right, right. Would, would I worry about the would I worry about how I'm dressed talking to y'all if I didn't right. give exactly. a fuck? Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Like, guys, you, you have to you, I don't know, man. It's like sometimes these, some of these questions is like, are y'all really asking this shit? <laughs> What's the difference in mindset between? Look, you have to you have to believe that the girl wants you. Right. That's just you just have to. Mm-hmm. And if she and if that particular girl, because remember, we are we are men. Mm-hmm. We are we are here to fulfill our mission. Our mission is to get with chicks that we're attracted to. Right. And notice, I said chicks. So if one is not attracted to us, then she's not part of our mission. Right. The mission is going to continue. Mm-hmm. Shit, even after we find a bitch that's attracted to us, the mission is going to continue. Right. Because I want more bitches anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And 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 who knows how long this this thing with this one chick is going to last? So I still got to continue to get more chicks. The mission is is a continuous thing, bro. It's not one thing. That's why it's like. So, so if I know I'm gonna be talking to multiple chicks constantly, 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 mm-hmm. wouldn't it make more sense for me to just believe that all of them want me? Right, exactly, exactly. Like, why would I? Why would I go anywhere believing anything negative about myself? Right. And two four zero, we're gonna get to your call in a second. I just wanted to address this uh, this comment. He said, "Y'all yeah, speaking the truth, but damn, it's let, let's not act like these fee fails <laughs> don't have a preference." Shout out to Black Ram. Black Ram, we talking about fee fails. Uh, no matter how you act, if you're not looking a certain type, uh, these fee fills ain't going unless you have money. Nah, see, and that's the thing. They can keep going back. Y'all, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Do y'all realize how much you diss yourselves right. when you say shit like this? 
you're basically saying, listen, I ain't shit. So I have to have money for a chick to want to fuck with me. That's all you're saying. You understand what I'm saying? You're saying, look, I'm not, I ain't shit. So I got to have money. I ain't shit. So I got to have the status, right? Who I am isn't good enough. Who I am ain't nothing for a woman to be attracted to. You, you see what I'm saying? So it, it, it's like, man, dudes got to dudes gotta get it together. But let's get to uh, to 240. Two, 240 is popping. Who's this? Hey, what's up? This is Khalil. What's going on, my brother? Did you donate? I see you, you donated. Appreciate oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. All right. up. What's going All on, right, man? You know the donate and everything. Good morning to you. Uh, good afternoon to you, Miles, too. Um, what up, bro? How you doing, make, man? Uh, a quick point. Yeah. I'm good. I just wanted to make a quick point. Mm. Uh, is that uh, females, right, they're emotional. Everyone knows this, right? Mm. And emotions are subjective, mm. right? And so looks are subjective as two. Right. Right? And so you got subjectivity on top of subjectivity mm. and also females are uncertain even when they think they are certain with, of what they like they really don't even know until something else you know is in their place mm -hmm. uh, in that place and it's been decided for them it's been many times i've like you know hooked up with a female or something like that mm. and they say you know that i oh i never saw myself being attracted to a short guy or something like that right, right? Mm -hmm. so only way of you knowing if you really got a chance with these confused ass bitches is, you know, just talk to them, mm. just talk to them and, you know, shoot your shot or whatever have you, you know what I'm saying? And that's just that. Right. Nah, that's, that's real talk. That's real talk. Nah, you, you talking facts because again, a lot of times, like you said, these women, they, they're going based off the feeling. They don't even know how they're going to feel next week or next minute or next whatever. And this is what guys don't understand. This is this is where game comes in. This is where, you know, if you get into more advanced uh, levels of game as far as talking about seduction and all this other stuff, right? You can get a girl who is on the fence to want to fuck with you, period, no matter how you looking. You understand what I'm saying? Meaning, and when I say on the fence, that means that there's something about you she's feeling already, but she's not all the way there because... Mm. If a girl's not liking you at all, if she don't like you, period, ain't nothing you can do. It's over. You understand what I'm saying? Like, if a girl don't like you, it's fucking over, right? But if there's something about you, this it could be even a, a little bit. This is what guys don't even understand. Do you know that a woman could just like the way that your arms look? Like, you could have, like, muscles and shit, and that's enough <laughs> for her to be like, okay, he, uh, you know, he's, he's kind of right, right? And then, so, if you want to go off of looks... That she could just look at that and she could just that could just be it. You see what I mean? And then because of that, right? She's not all the way, all the way about it, but she's like, okay, you know, y'all talk or whatever. And because you know how to talk to a girl, because you know how to get her to feel a certain way, get her to come around to certain things, that's the type of chick that will, you know, want to fuck with you. But dudes don't understand this. So they think, oh, well, it's just about this one thing. And if it's not that one thing, then it's a wrap. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes what'll happen is the chick may not even necessarily be, and this is what I got guys to, got guys to understand. All, of, all the woman does it, uh, all that needs to not happen is a chick just needs to not be repulsed by you physically. That's it. You understand what I'm saying? A chick just needs to not be repulsed by you physically, meaning that she, if she looks at you and she's just like, oh my God, like, I don't, I won't, I don't want to touch this guy, right? Then, then she is, 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 you know, it's a wrap for you, right? But you do not have to be the best looking dude. You don't even have to be her, her physical type. You don't have to be the, the main type of guy she actually wants, right? You just have to not be repulsive to her. And, and 90% of guys are not repulsive physically to women. You understand what I'm saying? They might not be their, their first priority, first option. But they're not repulsive. You understand what I'm saying? Most dudes, unless they're just super sloppy, they smell like shit, and they don't wash their ass. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, you know what I mean? But most dudes, if they take a shower, <laughs> fucking put on some nice clothes, uh, work out a little bit, get a little style about them, you're good. You understand what I'm saying? And so based off of that, all dudes need to do 
is actually go out there and interact and see what's popping. And they're going to find some girls who's going to be responsive to them. You know what I mean? But that's what it is, man. Hey, that's another. Now go ahead. I, I was about to say, that's another thing to it, too. Like most of these dudes, they don't, they're not well put together at all. They they don't have their grooming game on lock. They don't have their fragrance game. They don't have right. any style or anything like that. And you know, like I said, uh, like I guess I called into the show before, mm-hmm. and you know, like I said, I'm in an open relationship and stuff like that. So right. I see I, the, the type of guys that my girl like comes across on Tinder and everything like that. They not only not only do they do they lack any type of style presentation or anything like mm-hmm. that, but also they just all around like. It's a hard fucking no. And I see where these women come from mm-hmm. when they like don't want these dudes. Because mm-hmm. shit, I, I I look at myself and I think they're creeping. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and that's because there's a lot of dudes that ain't got no game. That's the, that's the part. That's the fucked up part about it. You know what I'm saying? Because because if half those dudes actually just like spruce their situation up, They'd be good. You understand what I'm saying? But de- but dudes don't want to actually put in no work to do nothing. You know what I mean? That's the problem. So a lot of these guys, when they talk about, because see, a lot of these guys, when they talk about just looks, they're just talking about how you naturally, physically look, the structure of your face, the shit you can't necessarily change. What I'm saying is dudes have so much control over their appearance, their behavior, their confidence, their vibe, their energy, all that other shit coming together. That's going to make them more attractive to women. But but guys don't understand this shit. So they're just looking at it from the looks perspective because they're looking at it from their perspective as a man trying to get women because they're only they're con- guys. We're concerned about just a chick being hot. You understand what I'm saying? And so women do like guys who are they call they would consider quote unquote hot if they're just looking at them physically. But what happens is, is a lot of times. You'd see chicks. You ever notice how sometimes you hear a chick describing a dude and she'd be like, oh my God, he's so hot. And then you see him and you'd be like, this is the guy you was talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> this is the guy you was talking about? <laughs> I'm, I see this shit all the and, and again, that's just from our own male mind because when we, we're, we're looking at it like, oh, well, this is what the guy's supposed to look like. But again, like I said, we don't understand what makes the woman say a guy is hot. You understand on what a woman is physically attracted to, attracted to all, you know, overall as far as what specifically she likes. You see what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. And I, I got one last point before I have to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that uh, based off the look of the dude or whatever have you, right? Mm-hmm. A female knows what type of uh, behavior she's going to get or what type of, like, how the sex game is mm-hmm. and everything like that. Mm-hmm. So sometimes they reject a dude just based off of what they think. Again, going back to the feelings thing, the subjectiveness of mm-hmm. it all, they think they're going to get something whack right. at the end of the day. And most Facts. times, most times it's, it's actually true. Again, I, 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 you know, I see the type of dudes that be on Tinder for mm-hmm. my girl or mm-hmm. whatever have you. We talk about this stuff like that. Right. And she said, yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty much like, you know, you don't want, you don't want no lame dude with no lame game because dick game probably going to be whack. Or right. you know, he's gonna be this, or he's gonna be clingy, or something like that too, mm-hmm. like that. So that's all I had to say. Right now, nah, that's real talk, bro, man. We appreciate the call, my brother. All right, I'm out with you, man. Peace. That's what's up. Yeah, and and it's the funny part. What what, what guys don't understand is, do y'all know that women will choose a guy based off of him looking like he could fuck? Mm. You understand, or or her thinking he can fuck. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? This is why when you come at a chick and you got game and you got a tight mouthpiece, right? That makes her say, "Damn, this motherfucker could." Damn, he probably fucked the shit out of me, which which turns her on. You understand what I'm saying? This is what I don't get. So you could have a guy who looks way better than that guy, but he made the guy who looks better may not may look like he don't know how to fuck. Versus the other guy who's not that great looking, who looks like he knows how to fuck. Or he he presents himself or has that energy of a guy who knows how to fuck. She's going to pick the guy who looks like he knows how to fuck. You understand what I'm saying? Even though he may not look as good as the other dude. This right. is what dudes don't understand. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all guys. You're talking about, well, if you're ugly, blah, blah, blah. 
a chick will pick a, a ugly nigga who look like he could fuck over a good looking guy who don't know how to fuck or who looks like he don't know how to fuck. You understand? Yo, these guys will not let it go. Look, certain level of ugliness. <laughs> Ad Adonai Jen, blah blah blah. It says, but this one. Oh, he said the real question is what's. Uh, up to what point will games still work for a certain level of ugliness? I mean, there's got to be a limit to what extent game will still help guys at a certain level of ugliness. Again, like I said earlier, she just doesn't need to be repulsed by you. You understand what I'm saying? And if you know how to keep yourself up, meaning you know how to dress, right? You get haircuts, you shave, you, you brush your teeth, you smell good, you got nice shoes. You understand what I'm saying? You work out a little bit. You ain't got to be fucking ripped or none of that. You just are in shape. You understand what I'm saying? You 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 look like you got shit going on, right? What's going to happen is is that you you unless you're unless you're like super fucking crazy deformed, you understand what I'm saying? You you might have a little bit more uh problems than the next dude. You understand what I'm saying? But 99% of y'all listening ain't deformed. You understand what I'm saying? So let's get that out the way. Now, well, let, let's hope so. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so, again, when you talk about a certain level of ugliness, guess what? You could be super ugly to, to, to girl A. And girl B might think you fine. So what the fuck does it matter that this girl, like, what's the, what's the level of ugliness? The level of ugliness is subjective. So every girl is not going to think you're at that certain level of ugliness. You understand what I'm saying? And every girl is not going to think you're at that certain level of physical attraction. You understand what I'm saying? This is the part y'all don't get. Y'all be thinking that chicks look at shit in a vacuum. You understand? Like, okay, you're deemed ugly. So every girl in the fucking world is going to think you're ugly or 99% of women are going to think you're ugly and not want to fuck with you or, or, or talk to you. It's bullshit. It's straight bullshit. Now, again, like I said, you have to do things to make yourself the best you are because understand, a lot of times what happens is, is that if your mentality is right, you're going to exude that outwardly, outwardly anyway. So you're not going to be, if you're a guy who's confident and a guy who understands what it is to deal with women and have game, you're not going to allow yourself to look sloppy. You're not gonna allow mm. yourself to smell like shit. You're not gonna allow yourself. So, so by default, you're 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 going to, uh, uh, you know, have that that aura, that vibe, that appearance of a guy who's attractive anyway. You you understand what I'm saying? That that's what y'all y'all don't get. Facts. It's it's like it's like saying, well, you know, uh, uh, like it's like when a person is um is is getting fit, right? And 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 sculpting their body, right? What goes with that is eating right. You understand what I'm saying? You're not gonna have a person that, oh, I got this chiseled body and I'm I got all these muscles and six pack and all that, and all I eat is cheeseburgers and ice cream all day. It does that don't go together. It's never gonna happen that way. You understand what I'm saying? You're gonna have to be a guy who's working out and eating right. As a result of you eating right and 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 uh, you're going to be working out and, and building that body and to maintain that body, you have to eat right. It goes hand in hand. So when you have game, your appearance is going to be on point because your appearance goes hand in hand with everything else that you're doing. Right. You understand what I'm saying? This is what I don't get. It's going to happen automatically as a result of you being on top of your game. So the thing is, is that. When you're saying, well, oh, I'm a, at a certain level of uh, uh, ugliness or whatever. Remember Biggie even said in the fucking, Biggie was giving y'all game. He said, black and ugly as ever. However, I stay Gucci down to the socks. You understand what I'm saying? The nigga was like, my appearance is on point. I'm a player, nigga. And wasn't Biggie fucking Kim before he was famous? You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean... I don't know what else to tell y'all, motherfuckers. He, he fucked Kim, Charlie Baltimore, Faith right. Evans, right. and that's only the bitches we know about. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> what, wait, what is Chosen talking about? You said, how do we learn how to fuck without fucking and getting embarrassed? What are, what are you talking about? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> but guys, the caller number is... Um, 
See, uh, Darito, he said Biggie, Biggie, uh, he said Biggie got laid because he was exposed to billions of women. I said before he was famous, my nigga. Before, before he was famous, he was fucking Lil' Kim. Exactly. Before. And he was, he was fucking Lil' Kim and Faith before he was famous. Right. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm saying, man. Yeah, Biggie was mad ugly and fat. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, uh, like these dudes, I, I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, y'all got to get off the bullshit. So, guys, you got 371 people wa- uh, watching right now. Hold on, let me see what the likes looking like. Let me see what the goddamn likes looking like, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we need to get these likes up so we can get this shit uh, circulating. So we can get it circulating. Uh, we got 163 likes. Let's get it up to 200 people. Let's get the circulating. Because I already, I already know the the virgin uh, uh, you know, experts are going to probably clip some of this. And they're going to be like, you see... Locario, he's delusional because he thinks he's good looking. <laughs> and I'm like, Wait, Yo. you know, but you know what, you know what, though, you want to talk about delusion. That's what a lot of these guys don't understand about success with anything. Right. You in, in a lot of ways, you have to be delusional. The reason why you have to be delusional mm-hmm. is because the thing that you want hasn't happened yet. Right. Mm-hmm. You have to you have to use your mind to literally force the universe to, to manifest the shit into existence. Right. You understand? Exactly. Because how are you gonna how are you gonna have the confidence and faith and the the drive to keep talking to these <laughs> what fe, fe, fee fails? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> how you go how you gonna do that? How you gonna keep talking to these females if you if you're constantly thinking that you're that you're ugly? Right. Mm-hmm. Or if you're constantly thinking that you can't get women. You right. think you think you you think fucking Elon Musk Became a millionaire by thinking that he couldn't become a million, a, a millionaire or billionaire. Right. You 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 think you think Warren Buffett became as rich as he is by thinking he couldn't get as rich as he is. Right. Like that's that's what you guys are like. I don't understand. Like, how do you guys really think this shit works? Right. Mm-hmm. You think about it, and, and you're then what you think affects your behavior, and then the thing happens in real life. Like. Right. Right. It's that simple. Like, I don't know what else to really tell niggas, bro. Like, if you want to, again, I said this before, if you want to continue to consider every reason why you can't get bitches, then hey, keep doing that. And exactly. as you continue to not get bitches, I'm over here continuing to think about every reason why I can get bitches Facts. while I continue to get bitches. Exactly. Exactly. Period. <laughs> so, whether you want to do that or you want to do what I do, both of us is correct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So all you incel and black pill and all you looks money status niggas who mm-hmm. you want to think it's all about looks, please go right, right. ahead. But go right niggas, ahead. And if you they're, think you're ugly, stay your ass in the house. Leave the bitches to me. Right, right. I will <laughs> holler at them for you. And I'm right. not saying all of them is going to like me, but there's a, there's a, a good handful of them is going to fuck with me, though. And mm-hmm. while I'm getting my dick wet, your dick will stay dry. Thank you very right. much. I appreciate That's you. That's stay in it. the house. You <laughs> ugly motherfucker, just stay in the house. <laughs> Period. Facts. Facts. Because, because, look, the game I'm trying to teach you is only going to help you to a certain level of ugliness anyway. So just stay your ugly ass, ho- ass in the house. Period. Right. Stay out my fucking way so I can get to this pussy. You feel me? Right. right. That's what I'm saying, man. I'm like, uh crazy so look he said uh look i think chosen is saying if you got no sex experience girls won't stay long enough to get your sex experience on point because you will be so bad they will ghost you immediately well yeah i mean that's the thing this is why i tell you i got i gotta go out there and get some experience this is why we tell y'all motherfuckers this, let me tell you something man most of y'all are not go- look, look let me tell you guys most <laughs> of y'all who aren't who don't have girls or who who haven't had a girl right I'm going to tell you something that sounds crazy, but it's true. Some of y'all are better off not having a girl right now. You understand? Until you get your mind right. Because what's going to happen is you're going to get a girl. And then when she leaves you, because she will, and it's it's going to be sooner or later, but it's more likely going to be sooner because you don't know how to handle the situation. You're going to feel a, such a devastating loss that you're going to go crazy. And there's some other shit that may happen that I don't even want to mention on this goddamn uh, uh, stream because I don't want to take it too there, but you know what the fuck I'm talking about. You understand what I'm saying? Where dudes are not ready for this shit. Understand that 
because you're because you don't have experience, right? Your thirst and attachment level to fucking with girls is going to be so heavy that when you lose her, you're going to lose your mind. You're going to get into a deep state of depression. I'm telling you this. Now, this could be a good thing in a certain way because then you'll learn, you'll probably learn some if you're smart. But what I'm saying is this is why you guys have to uh, practice talking to women, immerse yourself in the game so that, they're, that, so that you can become used to dealing with women. You understand what I'm saying? When you're not used to dealing with women and then you get a woman and you lose her, it's devastating. You understand what I'm saying? Is that you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna be like what the fuck? You're gonna be in the corner crying. You're gonna be in the fucking shower in the corner, kneel down crying while the hot water is hitting you on your face. You understand what I'm saying, bro? I'm telling you guys this, right? Listen, listen. Let me tell you guys something. From a dude who's been with hundreds of women, dated thousands of women, right? I've been in situations where. I've had girls that I really liked. Shit didn't go the way I expected it to go. And nigga, I was fucked up in the game. You understand? And this is coming from a, a guy who's been there, done that with a lot of women. So you think that your virgin ass is going <laughs> to get with some chick and then the shit don't go the way you want to go and you're going to be cool? No, you're not. You understand what I'm saying? But you can be. If you start immersing yourself in the shit and not sitting on the sidelines thinking chicks is, is special, you understand what I'm saying? And then you get with this girl, you put her on a pedestal, right? And then when she breaks up with you or she leaves you for some other dude or whatever, you sitting there, you understand what I'm saying, with a gun in your mouth. Ah. <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. So we don't want that to happen to you guys. So immerse yourself in a game so you can toughen yourself up when it comes to dealing with women. You understand what I'm saying? This, that's what I'm trying to say. So D said, can a guy who has zero confidence and doesn't believe in himself, who never did uh, become the guy who is the opposite of all that, uh, the guy who women love and respect? So wait, what is, is he saying that? Can a guy become a guy that women love and respect if he has if he has uh, zero confidence and doesn't believe in himself? First of all, y'all niggas need to go back to fucking grammar school and learn how to read. <laughs> learn how to read and write and express a clear fucking thought like that's number one and i'm not even i'm not even being dis i'm not trying to be disrespectful i am so serious i'm right. very serious like niggas need to really take the english language serious and fucking get your grammar game up and your spelling and punctuation and all that shit right facts and i'm shout not out. even playing with y'all because we want to answer your fucking questions but come on man Right. Shout out to everybody. We are 414 people watching right now. People hit the like button. God damn it. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure I go to badboymembership.com to get that Game Kings motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? But well, my thing is this. To answer his question, if I'm reading it correctly, which right. that's fucking impossible. But anyway, if I get the question, what good is a woman's a woman's respect if you have no respect for yourself? Facts. What good is a woman's belief in you if you don't believe in yourself? Facts. Exactly. I can't stand you fucking dudes, bro. Like, I, we keep telling y'all, it's not about bitches. It's about what you think of you. Right, right. Like, Eddie Fuse would tell you that a woman cares more about what you think of yourself than what you think of her. Facts. Am I right? Am I right, Lucario? That's right, right? Right. Facts. Go, go to game. She, she cares more about your thoughts. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because in it, like it, it's it's just nature for her to want to follow you so she really gives a fuck about what you think so so no the guy that the guy that don't believe in himself and has no confidence he ain't gonna find no bitches that's gonna uh respect him right. and again her respect and confidence or whatever and belief in him means nothing without the belief in himself without exactly. his own belief in himself even if she does it still means nothing because right. it's just like how listen Oh shit, they can just cut Miles off. Miles got cut off when he was about to go in. God damn. The game was too heavy. Shit. Hold on, Miles, you gotta come back. The game was about to get heavy. They just cut his ass off. Shit. YouTube was like, fuck that. <laughs> Let me get Miles back on. My door. bad. My bad. Uh, I, I was wiping something off the trackpad and then it fucking whatever. Anyway, <laughs> we're on these live streams because we believe in you guys. Right. 
Like, don't get it. Don't get it twisted. We believe that what we've experienced as far as women, you guys can experience it too. Right. Right. That's what we truly believe. But unless you believe it for yourself, it'll never fucking happen. Exactly. So it doesn't matter how much we believe in you guys until you guys start believing in you guys. Nothing's going to fucking change. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's what that's the truth of it all. And again, for you, for you, I hate like the, the I hate the motherfuckers that swear to God this is a scam or whatever. <laughs> right. People who are running scams don't say shit like that. Do you understand? <laughs> yo, it's so funny to me you know, like, you say stupid shit like that. Like, you know yo. what I'm saying? Like, I'm right. letting you know that even if you get on the bad boy membership and listen to every fucking program on the bad boy membership and you watch the game kings. Mm. If by the end of it you don't get your own, create in your mind your own idea of confidence within yourself and self belief within yourself and truth and honesty within yourself, mm. it's still not gonna work. Right. You understand? Right. It's still not gonna fucking work. Mm -hmm. And that's the truth. Facts. So Facts. you have to understand that we we believe in something. And we want we but we need you to believe it too, or else it's just it's not gonna fucking happen. It's right. just not gonna happen, period. Right. And again, you you talking about a woman's belief. Look, I don't it doesn't matter what she believes. If you don't fucking believe it, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Because this because like I, the reason why I was even bringing that up is that you can you can you can use the fuel of somebody else's confidence in you, right? You understand. Mm. But what happens if what happens if YouTube goes down tomorrow and you never see another fucking live stream from from Lucario or 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 myself? Right. Is your confidence just going to stop? Mm. And and that same girl who even though you don't have no confidence in yourself and you don't believe in yourself, if that girl get hit by a fucking bus, what happens to your confidence? What happens to you? Right. Do you understand? It has to come from in, within you first. But anyway, mm. what's what's this question about? Now he said if if you he said if you literally have never been confident your entire life, and if you've not loved yourself for whatever reason, then is it possible to become that? For example, can a black pill guy become confident? Again, see, this is what we just you, talked about, bro. Well, you can, but you have to start somewhere, though. You got to start somewhere and build on it. You, mm -hmm. and, you, and you have to make a choice. Really, it, it, it all comes down to a choice. You have to begin believing that there is something to be, to be com confident about. And the first thing that you can be confident about and I always tell you guys this is the fact that are you and there is no other person on this planet of seven billion people that is exactly like you. Mm -hmm. And that's something that's something unique and special that no one can change. So right. if you want to start there, start right there. Mm -hmm. Look at yourself in the mirror and be like, God, well, I'm me. There's right. no one else who, who has exactly who has my name, my lineage, my genetics, my looks. You understand? There's no one else that has the actual perfect genetic mixture of me. Even if I had a fucking identical twin, there would still be differences right. that cannot be duplicated. Mm -hmm. How special is that? Right. But and I and I'll say this shit, and then niggas will be like, "Yeah, but it's still all about looks, though." Fuck that nigga. Right. Still right. right. Yeah. You got. Hey. Well, you you can't be confident unless you got a bunch of money in the car. You exactly. Know, are you gonna be confident? If 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 nobody said you was good looking, that don't even make no sense. How confidence is gonna come from the inside? What the fuck that mean? You understand what I'm saying? Like, and this is this is the thing, man. And you, you know what, you know what it is. You know what it is. And I'm gonna say this. And I'm I'm really I'm really uh you know I'm really not uh uh like trying to be mean about this or whatever. But what I what I've noticed uh as far as as far as certain dudes learning game is concerned is that some guys are, are kind of slow. You understand what I'm saying? They're kind of slow. So like, for example, I'll put, a, I'll put a video up and it'll say, it'll say five places to meet hot women, right? And then I'll see somebody that writes a comment and says, Locario, uh, what's, what's, what's a place that you can find hot women at? I'm like, nigga, the shit says, Five places to find hot women. That's what the whole video is about. And in your comment, you asking me, where's some places to find hot women? I'm like, bro, are you slow? You understand what I'm saying? And so that translates to when they're dealing with women. 
because they're, they're trying to make some happen with a girl. A girl might be giving him a sign that she's interested. He can, It's going over his head. You understand what I'm saying? It's going over his head. You feel what I mean? He don't, he don't, he don't understand the shit. See, like, look at uh, Incel 98 with goddamn Elliot Roger pitcher. This nigga, <laughs> he said, he said, Lucario, to get confidence, you have to be competent. No, you don't. You can you can derive comfort, confidence through competence, but you do not need to be competent to have confidence. You understand? Let me explain this to you guys. Right? Again. Again. What competence is, competence means you know how to do something. You understand? So I'm competent in setting up this live stream and, and using StreamYard for the live stream because I know how to do it. Right? Now, because I know how to do it, I can say I feel confident that I can actually do this. You understand? I can actually set up a live stream and make it happen because I know how, right? But you do not need competence to be confident because the confidence is still coming from within because even though I know how to do this, I feel good about the fact that I know how to do it is because I feel like I can do it, which is coming from within. But, but more importantly, check this out. What about the very first time you did it? Exactly. You, didn't, you weren't competent about doing it the very first time you did it. Exactly. Exactly. This is what I try to tell these fools. They're like, oh, well, you have to have did something first before you become confident because how are you going to be confident unless you did it first? Nigga, how the fuck was I confident to do it the first time? Then they're going to be like, they're going to be like, no, well, you weren't confident. You just did it and it just luckily happened. So you like that's that's the type of stupid shit they'll Love. say. Right. And if, Nigga, we are we are black men in the United States of America. There is no such thing as luck for black men. Yeah. For, for, what? Yo, and this oh. the thing. This is the thing you guys understand though. It's like what you gotta understand is confidence is the belief that you can do it regardless of if you know how to do it. That's what y'all don't get. I've been trying to say this for years, and dudes are so slow that they don't understand this. Confidence means that you do it regardless. You understand what I'm saying? Meaning, if I see Mike Tyson in the ring, right? I've never beat Mike Tyson's ass, but a confident nigga says, I'm stepping in the ring. That's all the confidence is. I'm stepping in the ring, period, with Mike Tyson. You understand what I'm saying? I'm most likely going to get my ass kicked, right? Because he's a professional boxer, right? But the confidence is me stepping in the ring, even though I've never done it before. That's that's core confidence. The belief you can, regardless of if you did it or not before. Now, if you've done it before, if you've boxed before, if you did all that other stuff, you can have a feeling, you can feel confident about the fact that you've boxed before. And that ain't no wrong with that. That's you being competent. And then you deriving that confidence from the competence. But you do not need to have had done something to be confident about doing it. Look at this right here. This book, right? The books that I, that I wrote. I, didn't, I never wrote no books before, but I was confident that I could write this shit. Huh? You understand know what I'm saying? I was confident that I could do something that I've never done before, people. You understand what I'm saying? Look at this fool. He's talking about, but competence is more important than confidence. Listen. <sighs> All listen, listen to me. I'm not here. I don't know what Lucario doing, <laughs> but I'm not here to convert y'all niggas. <laughs> All of y'all incel and black pill niggas, please stay in the house. Right, right. Stay your punk ass in the fucking house. Right. Leave the bitches to me and Lucario. Facts. Thank you so much in advance. Facts, because I'm like yo. These dudes are so goofy with it. These dudes are so goofy with it. I'm just like, man. So you told my okay. So confident. Let's let's go with let's go with his logic. Competence is more important than confidence. Okay, cool. How come niggas ain't approaching women? Huh? You know how to approach women, right? You are competent in putting one foot in front of the other and walking towards a woman, right? And opening your mouth and saying some shit. But why are you not doing it? Because you ain't fucking confident. You understand what I'm saying? But you have the conf competence to do it, right? You see how stupid niggas sound? <laughs> well, competence is more important than com no, nigga, because you could be confident. You could be competent in something and still not be competent, confident. 
And then therefore you probably won't do the shit that you know how to fucking do. Hold up. It, does his name mean that he's been in the house not hollering at bitches since 98? <laughs> probably. Golly, probably, bro. He got, he got goddamn Elliot Roger as his pitcher. That's, dudes, that's what that's 22 years of fapping. That's crazy. <laughs> These dudes is like, yo, I swear to God, man. It's like, like, guys, come on. Y'all can't, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Like, listen. Listen, we we like come on guys. Like y'all can't you can't be this slow. Y'all can't. <laughs> you can't. This is what I'm saying. Like, y'all gotta think. Y'all gotta critically think about this game, man. No, we don't. <laughs> it's like, yo, it was just like, yo, I gotta. They're like, come on, this is a troll. No, but it's even if it is a troll, dude, this is how dudes actually think. Cause I listen, listen, let me tell you guys something. When I first got on YouTube, I, I'll tell you the, the thing that YouTube taught me the most. YouTube taught me that, uh, that there's a lot of idiots in this world. That's what YouTube taught me. That's the number one thing. The number one thing YouTube taught me. Because you got people who have YouTube channels saying the dumbest shit and niggas is watching it. Like, oh my God, this is amazing. I'm like, nigga, are you dumb? You think that's a ma- wait? What? That stupid shit makes sense to you? Like the nigga just contradicted himself five times in one video. Then that that should make sense to you? Like what the fuck are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. Where it taught me that a lot of people are slow. You understand what I'm saying? It's it's unfortunate. And and again, this is this is the type of shit that that. And look, let me let me tell you guys something. You don't have to be a really smart guy to fuck with girls, right? But you can't be this dumb. You understand what I'm saying? Like you can't be this unaware because that's going to that's, that's going to fuck your shit up. I'm telling you. Oh, awareness is so key, man. Right. Awareness is is really serious. I, 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 yeah, I'm trying to. Do, I'm, I'm about to do a video on that shit. Right. But yeah, awareness is. Ooh. Yeah, man. Awareness is about is where it's at. Fact, you know man. Facts. That's what I'm saying, man. The guys, that's why these guys ask ask these type of questions because they're not really aware. Like they they really they really they're not aware of like the power of their own mind. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Right. Like what? Like oh, if I have no confidence in, and I never ever believed in myself for whatever reason, will can I get a woman to believe in me? Right. <laughs> Yo, How, look, he, look more shit from this nigga. How does one continue to believe in himself when things are constantly not going his way? Meaning, meaning of a person is extremely meaning. If a person is extreme, see again, learn, <laughs> start with the basics, get your grammar, and your spelling right. But anyway, meaning if a person is extremely confident at first, but his failures, but his failures while being confident makes it go down. Okay, so he's basically saying, how does he constantly stay confident if shit is not going the way he expects it, and and and, and isn't that going to make his uh his confidence go down? Well, this is why we talk about this is why we talk about not being outcome dependent. You right. have to you have to know you have to know your value whether or not the world is responding to it at at any given time. Right. Like for example, I'll give you an example. Kanye West. Mm-hmm. Kanye West. Facts. One example, Kanye Kanye West met Common years, years before, uh, before he blew up and all that shit, and tried to give Common beats, and Common rejected all his fucking beats. It was like, who's this nigga? Fuck out of here! Right, right. <laughs> Jay Z and fucking Dame Dash went to every label in the music industry and mm. tried to get signed. Right. Every label told them no. Think about this shit for a second. Jay Z, mm. J fucking Z, married mm. to Beyonce, half a half a billion dollars in the bank, probably even more than that. The CEO of Rock Nation, all of them little black and white airplanes that y'all niggas love to rock so much. That's mm. his shit. Right. He's a co-owner of Complex Magazine. He owns Do Say Cognac. Mm-hmm. This nigga 
was told no by every fucking record label in the industry. Right. What did him and his partner do? They started their own record label. Mm -hmm. Now, based on what the fuck you just said, if everybody, if I believe I'm a good rapper, mm -hmm. I'm going to all these record labels and all of them is telling me no. So my confidence is going down, no, down, no, down, no, down. By your logic, Jay-Z and Dame Dash was never supposed to make it. Right, exactly. You're supposed to be chilling in their apartment saying, well, all these record labels done told me no, so I'm going to sit in the house and, and, and you know, just watch cartoons and eat cereal all fucking day. Right, right. <laughs> well, no, what did they do? They looked within themselves and they said, listen, our shit is dope, bro. Mm -hmm. What money we got? Well, we, we know a couple niggas that sell crap and we know a couple niggas that sell weed. Get money from them and let's start the shit. Mm -hmm. You understand? Facts. What the fuck are you talking about? Facts. Confidence has nothing to do with what's That's happening okay. in here. Shouldn't have anything to do with what's going on in the outside world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But again, y'all gotta go watch my video on thinking in the fourth dimension. You have to. Right. You understand? Go watch my video on the Miles Cunningham YouTube channel about thinking in the fourth dimension. So you can understand that what, what is in your mind is independent of the world. Right. You understand? In that's the general idea. What's in my mind is independent of the world. So all you guys dealing with women and worried about rejection, what is in my mind is I'm the sexiest, best looking, most manliest dude on the fucking planet, and every woman on this planet wants me. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. when I go down the street and I say what's up to a chick, and she says, ew, get away from me. I don't want to talk to you. In my mind, I'm the sexiest, right. best looking, masculinist <laughs> nigga, and every bitch wants me. So I continue walking till I get to the next bitch. Right. Yo, yo, shorty, what's up? Ew, you're nasty. <laughs> get away from me. I'm the sexiest, manliest, best looking nigga, and all these bitches want me. And I keep walking. Because what's in my mind is independent of what's going on in the world. I don't right. care what these bitches is talking about. Right. I'm gonna continue to go get what I gotta get until mm -hmm. until what's what's happening in the world is congruent with what with what's in my mind. Mm -hmm. And and that's why uh, 50 Cent made the fucking um the, the the shit the the album Get Rich or Die Trying because that's right. what a man does. He 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 fucking has a mission and his his mission is to fulfill it. Right. And the only thing that can stop me is death. Exactly. 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 Period. That, that's what I'm but saying. Until you guys really grasp the seriousness of that shit. You'll always be asking these fucking questions. Exactly. Always. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And y'all keep looking for external validation to get you to validate yourself. Like, for example, what the fuck is this? What is this? What is this? What the fuck is this, guys? What's this? That's a, that's a $20 bill, right? Now, if I, if I, if I fucking uh, uh, give this to Miles. And Miles is like, man, fuck. I only fuck with honeys. Don't put that shit in my face, right? Does this diminish the value of the twenty? No. You understand what I'm saying? The twenty dollar bill is still a twenty dollar bill, regardless of what happens outside of the shit. You understand what I'm saying? It's the same thing. So you are you, and your value is your value, regardless of what the chick says. That's what we trying to. Regardless. That's, that's what we talking about with confidence. You understand? That means that shit is already there. You understand what I'm saying? I don't need for a motherfucker to tell me, oh, well, this, you know, I got to I gotta uh, tell you that it's good first, and then I can be confident that this is valuable. No, this shit is valuable no matter what the fuck anybody say. You understand what I'm saying? It is what it is. It is what the fuck it is. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Carlos 45, look. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Who <laughs> said that? Carlos 45. It's hold like the fourth, the fourth joint up. Oh, he said, uh, well, Miles, you should get smacked in the face for that. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers, it's funny. Yo, bro. Shout out to Afi in the building. What's going on, bro? Yo, what up, Afi? That's crazy. These guys is funny out here, man. Man, that's what I'm saying, man. These dudes, see, all these dudes out here 
talking all this shit. We got 400 people watching right now. Get the likes of people. You feel what I'm saying? And the caller number is uh, 516-387-1224. This is the type of shit that this is the game that we're trying to get to you guys so that y'all really understand how valuable you are. So you guys will stop all this. Well, I'm ugly, so I can't get a girl. That's bullshit, guys. Come on, man. Like, I, like y'all don't understand, man. Y'all don't understand because, see, it, I don't want to get too deep on this shit, man. I don't want to get too deep. But I, but nah, yeah. man, fuck it. Because they're not understanding it anyway, so go you ahead. Got to. You know what I'm saying? Because like what Miles just said, y'all missed the whole... Y'all, y'all got to rewind that shit and, and listen to that shit again. He said, yo... I'm that nigga, regardless of what's happening outside, right? Now, what you don't understand is, is that when you are thinking a certain way, right? And you have a certain view of yourself and what you expect to happen and what you want to happen, the fucking universe conspires to give you that shit. But you first have to be in that same wavelength of the universe, you understand what I'm saying? Right. You gotta be in the same. You gotta be at the same. I'll give you a simple example, right? Let's say you, okay, you go to a store to buy some food to eat, right? You go to the store and buy some lunch, right? Now, why did you go buy that lunch? You bought the lunch because you was hungry, right? So you gave you gave the fucking uh you know the the restaurant money. For the lunch because you was hungry. How did that restaurant get the money? They got the money because they were there being a restaurant simultaneously as you were being hungry. You understand Mm. what I'm saying? So because you were hungry, you went to get food. You got the food because there was a restaurant. The restaurant was able to receive your money because there was somebody who was hungry who wanted food. It lines up. So if you're a guy saying, listen, I'm the shit, I could get chicks and I could get the type of chicks I want and all that, you're going to start to attract the chicks that like you, that want you, because they're going to find you, which is the guy that they're interested in. But guess what? If you keep saying, you know what? I'm too ugly to get girls. Girls don't like me and it's all about looks and I don't look good. Guess what? You ain't going to get no fucking women. You understand? Because the universe is giving you exactly what you want. You understand what I'm saying? Which is you want to not get girls. You want mm. to don't get no fucking chicks because you keep saying it. You keep saying I'm too ugly. Look. <laughs> where would where I'm trying to think, when would I ever label myself as an involuntary celibate? Right, exactly. Exactly. Listen, my fucking name, Miles Cunningham, comes from the fact that I was fucking a bitch. Right. Mm-hmm. My straight name, nigga, my brand name mm-hmm. was developed off the fact that I was fucking the shit out of this bitch, bro. Like, it's crazy. You, like, you, you really tell you, I'm an, I, you say I am an involuntary celibate. Right. You're literally letting the world happen to you. Right. There's exactly. two types of people in this world people who let shit happen to them. And people who make shit happen in this world. Right, exactly. Choose. Just choose. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Facts. See, Facts. Y- y'all motherfuckers, and I, we appreciate y'all for watching, right? But y'all motherfuckers is sitting here watching us. Mm-hmm. You understand? So you are letting us happen to you. Right. But we are happening to you. We're making things happen to you. You right. get what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. the difference. You got action people who take action, then you got the spectators. Mm-hmm. And there's a place for everyone. But what I'm saying is, when this is over, are you going to take what we said and actually start making things happen in the world? Are you going to fucking grasp right. that power and start making things ha- making things happen for yourself in this world? Right. Are you? That's the question. Or are you just going to continue being in cell ninety eight? Right. Exactly. <laughs> I've been an incel since 98, nigga. You feel me? Oh, shout out to all my incels, nigga. Since 98, nigga. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, I can't see it, bro. 
I can't see it. This is exactly why we don't label nothing over here, bro. Mm -hmm. We just, it's just game. It's just game over here. Ain't no red pill, no black pill, no turquoise pill, no fucking fuchsia pill. It's just fucking game because we understand that game is life and life mm -hmm. is game. And it's two, like I said, two type of people. You let shit happen to you or you make shit happen. You affect change in your mm -hmm. own way. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Facts. Let's get to, let's get to this call real quick. Uh, five, five, one, three was popping. Who's this? What's going on, Chris? What up, Chris? Chris What's good with you? What's, What's going on, man? How you doing? Not much. Um, I pretty good, man. Appreciate um, the donation. I just joined uh, Bumble probably about a couple of days ago. And the situation that I'm having is, first of all, I don't like to it to where the chicks message you first so i kind of like messaging them mm. them first right right but the issue that i'm having is trying to convert over to dates really because i sometimes oftentimes i get into these conversations with mm. these chicks mm. and i don't know how to convert them to dates right i converted maybe two or three so far mm. right. are you are you ready are you ready to learn how to convert to dates yeah. You 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 yeah. after the after the initial hello, how are you or whatever, you you say what what do you like to do on the first meeting with a bitch, with a chick? Excuse me. Oh, uh, when they message me, uh, oftentimes I get hey Chris or no 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 hey hey stop. No. Listen to what I'm saying. What do you like to do when you first meet a woman? What do you like to do? Like on a date, like what do you what do you want to go? What do you want to do? What type of activity? What are you trying to make happen? Oh yes, I'm. I'm I apologize, Miles. Um, I like to uh, meet up for drinks. Okay, perfect. Right. After the first initial hello, how are you? When are you? I would like to continue this conversation over drinks. When are you free? Right. That's it. Or any <laughs> variation of that for, of that uh, phrasing. Oh, that's simple. <laughs> that's it. Listen, listen, listen now. Please be prepared. It, it's not, it's not going to work every time. And there, let me tell you why it's not going to work every time. The mm -hmm. majority of females that are on um, uh, these dating apps, especially Bumble, because you see Bumble do, does that shit where they get to make the first move, right? Right. Especially mm -hmm. Bumble. These women are on there for attention. They, this is why you fall into all of these conversations, bro. You're not there for conversations. You're there to meet them, find out when they're free, and meet, and meet them for drinks and have a conversation face-to-face. -face. That's what you're there for. Do you understand me? Yes, yes. So be prepared. to. Con you're going to have to do that a lot. You're going to have to do that a lot until you find the chicks that are ready to, to meet you. Do you, 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 do you get that? Yes, yes, yes. I've okay, been on no. So, okay. So, the bottom line is, stop wasting your time with the extra conversations. Act, say hello. You know, cordial first couple of, but within the first two to three texts, you have to begin to ask them when they're free to meet up. You have to. Okay. Cool. All right. And and cool. I'll say this too. Also, what's going to happen is you're gonna you're gonna say to you're gonna say to some women, hey, when are you free? And there, some women are going to try to bait you into a conversation. Mm. And so what you want to do is you want to bypass that by by continuing to ask them, when are they free? So, for example, you may say to a girl, hey, so when are you free to get together and get some drinks? Right. And she'll say she'll say she'll respond and she'll be like, hey, so where are you from? Right. And you'd be like, oh, I'm from, uh, you know, West Philly anyway. So when are you free to get drinks? You see what I'm saying? And then if she doesn't respond about the drinks at that point, you just charge the game, unmatch or yeah, stop. You, you you unmatch, unmatch. Right. You keep moving. You understand what I'm saying? Because if okay, cool. you, right, because you've already asked her twice and she's she's still bullshitting. You understand what I'm saying? And then you just keep the shit pushing. All right. All right, cool. So let me ask you this real quick. Mm -hmm. So do you guys prefer Tinder over Bumble or Bumble up? over tinder i mean i don't i like either one of them you understand what i'm saying either one is good i like to use all of them and you know based off of uh you know the the girls if i match with certain girls and and, and shit goes the way i needed to go it's cool i do if i had to choose one though 
I think I like Tinder more because I don't like the the I don't like the aspect of uh, them making the woman lead the conversation on Bumble. I hate that shit because uh, a lot of times, me too. Yeah, a lot exactly. of times, what happens is you'll match with women and they won't respond to you, not because they're not interested, but they won't respond to you because. I, and I've heard this because I've coached women who use Bumble and all this other shit. I've heard this so many times. Women on Bumble will actually match with you and let the match die because they didn't know what to say as yep. a first message. You understand what I'm saying? So this, yep. so women are not equipped to lead a fucking thing. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> not even a fucking conversation. Yeah, exactly. damn. So you see what I mean? So that's why I like I would like I like Tinder better than Bumble, but you can still use Bumble as a supplement, you know what I'm saying? If you, you know, if she messages you then just get straight into setting up the date and then you keep that shit pushing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so uh, uh, one more question. Uh, mm-hmm. Thank you so much for your for your time. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been getting a lot of uh, matches from uh, women outside of my city. Let's say I live in Cincinnati, right? Mm-hmm. I've been getting uh, women from like um, Indianapolis, uh, Columbus. Uh, I have a car, so there's no problem of be driving. Um, would it be better to set up a FaceTime thing then go up there? Wait, say it again. So you said that. There's a girl you're supposed to meet where? No, no, no. I, I was I was saying I've been getting a lot of matches mm. from women outside of my city. For right. example, I live in Cincinnati, right? Right. So the nearest uh, major cities are Indianapolis, Columbus, and Louisville. So I've mm. been getting a lot of women from those cities, too. Right. So would it be better to set up a FaceTime date mm. than drive up there? Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. I'd say yeah. so because because you know you don't want to drive all the way out and you know you meet the chick and she don't look like how she's supposed to look. You feel what I'm saying? Or you know you drive out there and she be on some flaky shit and all some dumb shit. So yeah, I think it's better to do a Facetime real quick, have a little bit of conversation, and then um, what I would do is I would actually uh, have her meet you halfway. You understand? Right. So I went all the way out to either it's either one of two things. She meets you halfway or she meets you all the way where you're at. Right. Come to your you town. Yeah, but you don't go all the way to where she's at. So you understand what I'm saying? So either have her meet you halfway or y'all yeah, or she meets you all the way. You see what I'm saying? Never you meeting her all the way. Okay. You see what I mean? So how would you orchestrate that? If Okay. The, like you live in New York, right? Let's right. say you met. I don't know what. Okay. Let's say you met a girl in uh, Philadelphia, mm-hmm. right? Right. So what would you say to her? I'd be like, yo, let's meet in Jersey. You know what I'm saying? And so I would say, let's meet in Jersey City or somewhere in Jersey. And then so that's us meeting halfway. You see what I'm saying? And so, and then and then if I'm like, and then, or I could say, hey, meet me in fucking Brooklyn or some shit. You know what I'm saying? If you want to come out to Brooklyn. But I'm not going to go all the way out to Philly. Bro, let what? me tell you something. Google Google is your friend. Have, yeah. you, you, have you ever used Google Maps or Google app on your phone? Yeah. Oh, yeah. OK, so find the bar or whatever you want to have drinks at and you and hit the share button. And then you go after that, you go to copy. You copy the link and you put it right into the fucking dating app, into the messages. All right, cool. Right. And then you and then you say, right. uh, okay. meet me here. You say, meet me here. You put the link in. You say 9 p.m. on Friday. And then you say, text me to confirm. And then you put your phone number. You understand? If she does anything else but text you for the next move, charge it. It's a wrap. <laughs> right, at least, facts. at least that's how I run my fucking game. I don't play with these chicks, man. I don't play. Facts. <laughs> dating app, dating app chicks get no fucking extra attention from me. None. Exactly. Because exactly. you're on a dating app, bitch. It's it's called a dating app. If you don't want to date, don't fuck with me. I'm not here to fucking be your pen pal. I'm exactly. not. Right. Right. Exactly. Facts. All right, Caller, you got that? Yes, sir. Thanks. All right, man. Appreciate the call, my brother. All right. Thanks. That's what's up. That's what's up. Let me shout out to the people who's donating. Appreciate everybody who is donating. Shout out to uh, Fabian with the donation. Also, shout out to my dude, uh, Chris, that was just on with the donation. Shout out to Francis with the donation. Shout out to Khalil with the donation. Shout out to uh, Goddess Dragon. With the twenty dollar donation, appreciate you, fam, and, da- and shout out to Mark Anthony with the donation. So, guys, uh, you guys can call in 
516-387-1224. We'll go another, what time is it? Another maybe 15 minutes. And we're going to head up out of here. Make sure you guys get the likes up, people. Make sure you guys get those likes up. But if you want to call in, call in now because we, we, we're going to go another maybe 15 minutes. We got 272 likes. Let's get it up to 300 likes, people. Let's get that to 300 likes, people. Let's make it go down. You feel what I'm saying? I just, let me, let, real quick, let me just do a shameless plug. So I just finished uploading a video to my, my YouTube channel, mm -hmm. um, and it's called Surrender to the Truth. Nice. So go go set it up so y'all can watch it after y'all finish watching this shit. Right. Yeah. Go to Miles Cunningham's channel. Subscribe. Get all that shit popping. You feel what I'm saying? But um. But yeah, man. <laughs> Louis said pen pal makes women invest. Hilarious. <laughs> y'all motherfuckers, that's funny. Hey, if you want to, nigga, do you? Y'all motherfuckers, funny. You, I don't see, play games with which I don't games. get is that. See, y'all, y'all got it. It's funny. Dudes got to really understand the lengths that women will go uh when it comes to wasting a man's time you know what i'm saying yeah i have no idea because to women it's not a time it's not a waste of time that to them is, is time well spent by dealing with you and you know texting you calling you doing all that other extra shit that's a good time for them but for you it, it, it's it's nothing you understand what I'm saying? It's nothing. Because the worst the worst situation to have is when you've been spending a lot of time and energy talking to a girl, interacting with a chick, doing all this other stuff, and then by the end of it, you're like, yo, nothing happened. Like, this chick ain't fucking fuck me, suck me, she ain't give me no money, she ain't help me with my business, she ain't do shit. But I spent like damn near two weeks going back and forth with this chick. You understand what I'm saying? So you're like, what the fuck was the point of all of that? You see what I mean? So you got you to be very careful about how, you, you know, how much time and energy you're giving a woman. You see what I'm saying? Because you don't want to give a woman so much time and energy and then you're getting nothing out of it. And she's just sucking you of your energy. And then you just sort of drained and ain't shit pop off. You see what I'm saying? This shit is, is terrible. Facts. Succubus. Terrible. Women That's are shit. succubus. Look it up. <laughs> Fabian Case Locari, where, where's the Did You Donate t-shirts? You can click the link below, or April has some links in the chat where you can click to get the Did You Donate t-shirts on Teespring, but you can click the link, just go to the Bad Boy Gear store on Teespring, scroll through it. They've got a lot of different shirts, hoodies, all that other stuff, so you guys can, uh, you know, get that shit cracking. You feel what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah, man. Uh, Gulen said, see, uh, April got the Did You Donate t-shirts in the chat right there. So you guys click that link and you can get that. Uh, Gulen said, I was, a, I was a pen pal with this girl for almost two years and nothing happened. Exactly. Oh. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yo, the, the, I like Kilometer Cunning Beef. He said, I wish my girl sucked my, my D like she sucks the fun out of everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> now, don't remind me of that. Um, What was that uh, joke which you so Neil said? He was like how how girls aren't fun. He was like he's like he's like I've never been at a party and a dude was like you know what would make this shit even better if my girl was here. You know, what I'm I, was like, <laughs> I was like yo, that shit's crazy, man. Ah, uh, ridiculous. Ah, uh, it's ridiculous. But yeah, man. So guys, get the likes up. Call in five one six three eight seven one two two four. We're gonna go another ten minutes. You feel me? He said, where's the, you know what I'm saying, t-shirts? I should, I should have that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we do say that a lot. <laughs> you got you know give us some t-shirts ideas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, there you know we go. Saying? I can't even stop saying it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> no, we should have a t-shirt that says, I do know what you're saying. You know? <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, man, that's crazy. But not those are some, some good t-shirts ideas, man. You get that Come shit on, crack. man. Like, <laughs> wow. I'll be looking at myself. I'll be looking at myself. I'm like, man, come on, man. Like, <laughs> how could you not think you a fine motherfucker? Like, when I look at myself, I'm like, Brent, man, I wish every dude was like me where they they feel super confident about their looks and appearance, bro. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Because I'm like, I don't care what a bitch like. I care what I like. So I dress how what? I like to dress. 
right. look how I like to look. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, they, I don't get it. Like, the most important thing is what's going on in here. That's the mm -hmm. most important thing. It don't right. matter how many chicks flake or reject you or whatever the fuck you want to talk about, nigga. It's about how you feel in here. What's going on right. in here, man? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Facts. Facts. I don't know. That's real shit. That's real shit. Because, and this is what we want you guys to understand about this whole this whole video is that, man, you know, it starts with that mindset first, mm -hmm. man. Because it's the mindset of you thinking, oh, I'm too ugly and no girl's going to want me that got you in the position you're in if you're in that position right. where you're, you know what I'm saying? Where you're, uh, you know, not making shit happen. Right. You understand? Uh, Jeff Man 90 said, being called ugly by a bunch of chicks can lower your confidence. You know what's funny? Most chicks don't even say that shit. Yo, this facts. Is, I was going to say that earlier. This is how you know these niggas is on some bullshit. The I girls say that. The girls are not saying that to y'all. Y'all think that's what they think about you. That's all it is. Look, girl, listen. Do you know most women are trying not to hurt your feelings? You understand what I'm saying? Most women are trying not to hurt your feelings. You're going to have certain women who are kind of bitchy because they be in a mood sometime. You approach them. They're like, oh, I want to tell whatever. But most women, they're not trying to hurt your feelings. So most women are not going to uh, say, oh, you ugly. You understand what I'm saying? Exactly. And we said they, the girls only say that in grade school. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, come on, guys. Stop. Stop. See, Jeffy said it, it happened to him in the past. Yeah, when you was in second grade, nigga, get over it. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, like most chicks don't be saying shit like that, man. Like, dude, these dudes be coming up with all these fucking uh, rejection fantasies and shit. You know what I'm saying? Bro, like, I, yo, I just thought about that today. I said, I have never. Mm -hmm. Had a woman or a girl or anybody tell me that I was ugly, bro. Right, that's what I'm saying. Never. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm like, dude, come on, man. And nigga, if they did, I can't remember. Right. <laughs> like, fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I don't, man, I don't know what that means, bro. I don't know what that means. Right. He said, uh, Daniel Dad said, most of the people who called me ugly was other men. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Nigga, you know how much fucking goofy ass virgin experts online told my Mr. Lokar, you ugly. I'm like, nigga, you're a guy though. Like, unless like you like guys, you know what right. I'm saying? I'm like, you're a guy, but you still matter. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, long time ago, there was this dude named Trends, this rapper guy. Right. And he say he had a lyric that goes, uh, you must be queer or stupid. I say that, hun. Because if a girl don't like me, she must be gay or dumb. Facts, exactly. That's, Come what on, son. That's what I'm Come talking. Come on, son. Fires and bars, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm I said, about. "You must be queer or stupid." I say that, hun, because if a girl don't like me, she must be gay or dumb. Like, what? Exactly. That's Come the on, type son. Of niggas need to have, bro. That's the type of confidence niggas need to have, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, yo, what's going on? What song was that? I think it was uh, I was what's uh, really good. Really good. Was really, really good. good. Ah, yo, niggas got got we, we got we got hits, nigga. Y'all don't know. Y'all niggas don't even know. Talking about songs, nigga. I'm out. We about to come out with the Locario mixtape, nigga. We about Max. to come out with the Locario tape. You feel me? We gonna we gonna be doing some uh uh you know some joints. Let me let me let me try to let me see if I can if I can play some shit. Hold on. <laughs> let me play some. Yo, I'm telling y'all, man. Let me see if I could see if I can play some shit. Yeah. Your boy Trent. Oh shit. Arcade on the track. Let's go. Nice whips, nice kicks, fly that's shit. Me, that's me rapping right there, nigga. Go king, you buy shit. You cop that, rock that, you try shit. Feeling good about your things, you like, that's my shit. You're the man, nigga, damn nigga. Look at all them fans, nigga, motherfucker. You and hot the man. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. Yeah, that flow's crazy. Let me, wait, let me play y'all some, some, some. I'm telling y'all, we about to come out with this mixtape. We about to come out with this mixtape. We should put some old joints on there too. Oh yeah, yeah, we gonna do that. We gonna do that. Like you know the, the old joints where the beats was original with no samples. Right, right. What's really, what's really good don't have no samples. That shit was an original Steel Waters beat. Right. Nah, it's some, it's some. Let me play some, some exclusive shit. 
Let me turn this shit off. Hold on. There's some exclusive shit y'all gonna hear on the on the next day. Sometimes I be on some fuck shit. I be wondering what if I wasn't on some piece of love shit. Would I be wildin' on some bug shit? It's crazy that I'm making rap. I'm saying that I'm saying this. Y'all playing crap. Y'all claim the whack. Y'all lame. Y'all act like I get it. I am the shit. Let's state the facts. I be keeping it too real. I'm original. You still. I'm an individual. What I'm living through, you can relate. Cause I create a visual. I'm giving you to feel. All right, that's all. I'm, 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 all right, that's all. That's all. That's some other. That's some other shit. We all gonna hear later. <laughs> Yo, that flow is crazy. That's some other shit. I'm telling y'all, the mixtape coming. The mixtape's coming. You know what I'm saying? That shit gonna be crazy. So we we coming out with a mixtape for y'all to download for free. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's gonna be coming out. And all, and also remember the 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 Game Kings mm. is coming out officially on Black Friday. You feel what I'm saying? Facts. So. So, you know, so make sure y'all look out for that, man. So if, you, if you're not on a Bad Boy membership, you haven't got it, you need to get that shit ASAP. You feel what I'm saying? You oh, to- niggas know, son. I got rules, nigga. Yeah, that's the other joint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put that on the, on, the, on, the, on the joint the last time on the, on the YouTube. Nice. You know? you're nice. Yo, that, yo that, that joint is one of my favorite joints. That I got rules because the story is right. sick. Right, right. Is sick. right. Nah, real talk, real talk. But I'm telling y'all, man, y'all, y'all, y'all need to get up on this Game Kings. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, if y'all not up on it, I don't, I don't know what to tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, we, we should play them. I should play them a snippet of Game Kings real quick, so they, so they know, they know, uh, they know it's some real shit. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me try to. <laughs> let me. So for for those who didn't see the Game Kings, you feel what I'm saying? Let me try to find a snippet real quick. Hold on, bad hold boy on. records, idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers is crazy. Oh man, but hold on. Let me uh, let me try to find, let me try to find some shit so y'all can see the fucking um, the Game Kings shit. So y'all know we serious. Oh yeah, the trailer. Right, we ain't released the full trailer yet. All right, should I play them some of the trailer? A little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, let me find the trailer real quick. Let me find the trailer real quick. Hold on, where the fuck a, is this? A, a special treat for all the people that's 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 fucking with us now. A special snippet treat of the trailer. Wait, do I have it or my shit? Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on, hold on. I got so much fucking shit in my phone. Go to go to videos where it's only showing you the videos that you have. Oh no, I got it. I oh, got, you got it. it. All right, I got it. Hold on. Oh no, that's not the trailer. My bad. <laughs> Hold on. Is that the trailer? No, that's not the trailer. That's the intro. Fuck. Where the fuck did I put the trailer at? Yeah, where'd you put the trailer at, nigga? It's somewhere. I got it. Oh, you got it? Play yep. it. Play it. You can play it on the screen, and I'll, I'll blow up the screen. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta turn up my phone. Bitches is attracted to. It's all about me. That's I don't give a fuck what these bitches is attracted to. The trailer, nigga. For me, oh, that's not it. No, this is it. This is it. Nobody even have consequences. No, that's not it. It starts out like this. No, I'm talking about the official trailer, nigga. It's not really about what she's attracted to. I'm talking about what I'm attracted to. The official. Oh, you're right. My bad. The official. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You got it. Oh yeah, there we go. Having weak game is synonymous with having no game. But you have game, you have a strategy to get what you want, but your strategy might be weak. I always tell these guys, snap your fingers. And I'll tell them, snap your fingers. Like, you hear that sound? They're like, I'm like, what is that sound? Bitch, that's a 17 year old that just turned 18. That's a 19 year old that just turned 21. They are just, tur- they, they, they're everywhere. Hi, how you doing? You think I give a fuck about how you doing, bitch? <laughs> that's enough. That's enough for y'all niggas, nigga. That's enough. That's enough for y'all niggas. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's some real shit. Wait, hold on, hold on. I want to I wanna see, show y'all how official. Hold on, wait, where's this shit at? Let me see if I could fucking, why my phone? Oh yeah, yeah. What, so, what are you looking for? The intro? I was trying to look for the intro, but my phone acting stupid. It won't do the the, the, the side thing. You no know, one you be uh, flipping. Come on, man. Stupid. 
I, I got the I got the intro. You want me to do the intro? Show them the intro real quick. Show them the intro so they know we mean business. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Rewind, rewind that. Show them the intro. Hold on. Oh shit. Oh smack. Any food? Rob Wills. Rob Wills. He's the dean. Woo! It's hot shit, I'm telling y'all. Yeah. So I'm telling Woo! you, I to stop and stop fucking around. Nigga. So let's get this call real quick before we before we head up out here. We got one more call. Let's get this call real My quick. My niggas always call when it's time to bounce. I know, right? For real. <laughs> Two two three nine. What's popping? Who's this? Yeah, dang, Miles, man. I'm just. Hey, man, I just got on the show, man. Damn, bro. <laughs> show was over, nigga. Where the fuck you was at the, the whole two hours we've been here? Facts, facts. <laughs> hey, nah, what's good though? What's good? Thanks for calling, man. What's good though? Thank you guys for you know providing. Now I want to thank you guys for uh, providing good content, man. I donated. I donated. Appreciate I did it. Have a Appreciate question, you, man. But, uh, you know, I, I, I really enjoy your show. Um, not to take shots at other people. You guys are the only show that, you know, you can listen to and you don't get into this black women bashing rabbit hole, which is nonstop. I mean, I was with it for a little bit, but dang, it just seems like, you know, some of these content creators just go, you know, Woman bashing, like you know, I almost feel like listening to some shows. I don't like pussy anymore because these women are so god awful. Right. I mean, damn, like I, are women that god awful? Is that again? No, no, women. Women are what you make them, bro. Life is what you make it. So if you feel is a lot, it's look the cats who who talk in the talk. Just like I said, language exposes you. You understand. Mm -hmm. So if right. it's a bunch of dudes talking about things they hate, then that means there's something they hate in themselves. You understand? Right. We over here just talking about game, what we like, what what we like, what we love about ourselves, how to approach women, and how to get what we want from out of life in general. Period. That's what we about. Facts. Yeah, man. I thought the manosphere used to be like this, like in whole, but it just seems like you know, it's just God. It, it, like uh, some of these topics, I like to go in there and, and just get into this right wing women bashing mm. political. I mean, is the red? I mean, I, I, from from your perspective, is the red pill right wing? I mean, or, we don't know nothing about that shit, bro. Like, I, I, I mean, I don't really know because <laughs> I, you know the thing. Th this is the thing. Overall, you got to understand something. You got to understand something. Like Miles was saying. The language exposes all things. So what happens is that based off of what a like like based off of what dudes are saying, th that's going to dictate where they're at. Period. You understand what I'm saying? So if you see dudes on YouTube talking about yo man, like these black bitches and all that, it's like they they having issues with black women all day. You feel what I'm saying? Now it ain't like all things going to be peaches yeah. and cream with a woman, no matter if she black, white, or whatever. But if that's like 99% of the content is, yo, fuck these women, it's because they're having issues with women. You know what I'm saying? That, that's all it is. You see what I mean? If, 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 it used to be black women. But you know what? I don't even want to go into that, man. Right. Hold on. You have your phone. Your, your, phone. your phone. Make sure your, your, your mouthpiece is near your mouth. Pause. Yeah, because the phone is drowning out. We can't hear what you said. Say that oh, again. my bad. Yeah, say that yeah, again. yeah. Now you know what? I don't want to even get into that rabbit hole. I just wanted to tell you guys, you guys are one of the only shows that don't get into that nonsense. But anyways, uh, 
you know, based on because uh, I approached this uh, this fine Spanish chick right mm. uh, in the store, and um, and this is the second time it happened because she wasn't like you know done up. You know, it was like in the middle of the daytime. Right. I guess my question. Uh, based on like if they're dolled up or I mean like when a girl is just like you know casually not even dolled up or anything like that is that like the right really the right time to approach them or I mean are you fighting a losing battle if you know if they're not looking their best nah like you can pro- there, there, there's there's no nah. right time bro the right nah. time is when you decide to approach her period right because it because it don't matter how she looking okay. all this other stuff if if she wants to talk to you. And you talking to her, and and, and and she's trying to see what's popping. She's gonna make it happen. The thing is, if like if a chick is looking all like, let's say in, within her own self, maybe she's like wearing sweatpants and she ain't got a makeup on, and she's just running to the grocery store or some shit. And you approach her, yeah. and because she may be feeling unattractive, she might feel nervous around talking to you or whatever. But that don't even matter if she's interested in you, and you know how to lead a conversation to make it go down. She gonna she gonna make it go down. You understand what I'm saying? That that's really all it is. So it's well, not. I, I, get, well, I get that part. I was just talking about from an odd perspective. Is it is it better? I mean, is it, I guess it, is your odds a little bit less, or do, it doesn't matter. I mean, you're just saying it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't matter, bro, yeah. bro, bro. Yo, 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 yo. Listen, listen, my man, my man, my man, my man, my man. Listen, when you when you when you approach that 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 you saw the chick, right? Yeah. You saw the chick in the store and you thought she looked good, yes? Well, yeah, no, she was no her body was banging. Okay, okay, okay. You you saw the girl, you thought she looked good, and you wanted to approach her, yes? Yeah. And you approached her, yes? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that's it. That's it. If you think about anything else, you're wasting your time. Mm Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying, bro? You don't have to think about anything else after that. You saw something you wanted. You made an approach. You tried to get it. If you didn't get it, so be it. Period. Mm -hmm. On to the next. You don't have to think about nothing else, bro. That's what makes this. That's what makes the game so beautiful because you don't have to think about none of the rest of that shit. Right. Exactly. (laughs) You don't have to think about the odds, my nigga. I get what you're saying. Uh, You you, you did. I get what you're saying. It was just usually. Even if I get rejected, I would get some type of, uh, you know, you know, cooperation or anything like that. But it was just like these last two incidents. It was just, well, I guess it, it was the setting. Listen, little, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, bro, 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 bro. Here's what I'm saying is, here's what I'm saying. Look at this. You see the girl in the story, her body's bad, her body's banging or whatever. You find her attractive and she's wearing sweatpants. What the fuck are you going to do? Follow her around until she gets made up? Or are you gonna fucking just shoot your shot when when it's time to shoot your shot, which is right now? Bro, oh, I, no, I, I just asked a basic question. No, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It doesn't looking good. Is it is it more of a, a chance that you know that she gonna be more cooperative? No. And what I'm trying to tell you is that no. what I'm trying to tell you that bro, bro, what I'm trying to tell you is that you wasting energy and thought processes. Thinking about that is a waste of your time. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Well, well, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Why, why do yeah. you, why do you want to know what's the better odds? No, it's just more. It's just more strategic. You know, just more of a strategy. You know. No, but more that's but see, but see, like for instance, like I learned. Early, you know, I'll give you an example. Mm-hmm. I learned early in the game. That you know when you like go to a club, right, mm. and you see a pack of girls, mm. and a lot of times if you go in there by yourself, a lot of times and just uh, target one girl, a lot of the other girls are, are hate on you. You know mm. what I'm saying? I, I, that's just a, a strategy in my head, and uh, like that's just something that you know I, I I grew up with or or thinking thinking about. You know what? Mm. It's it's a lot more easier to you know approach a chick. You know, when she isolated, like in a club or something like that, you know, your odds are, are a little bit less sometimes if, you know, she has a whole bunch of chicks around, you, you know, mm-hmm. all they usually do is, you know, hit you up for uh, drinks or something. It, it's just a strategy. I was just saying, when, when I see a girl, mm-hmm. like in a, in a store or stuff like that, does it really, I guess, is your eyes a little bit different, you know, if she's not dawned up, I mean, dolled up, you know, more, 
Well, well see, the thing is, this, know, this is the thing. Doubt, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the thing. This is this. This is the. This is the. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. No, no. This is this is the difference. This is difference between those two situations. What happens is is that there's there's a difference between interacting with a uh, when you're trying to when you're trying to interact with someone in a social situation you see what i'm saying and thinking about the variables yeah. based off of other things happening in that situation you see what i mean versus yeah. you talking about a man to woman action in general those are two different things so meaning it's like what you're talking mm -hmm. about is if I'm in a club and I see a girl with like 10, you know, five of her girlfriends and then, you know, they they all over the place and they doing this and doing that. Yeah, there's a better way to come at the girl because you have to deal not only with her, but you're dealing with everything around the situation. You see what I'm saying? And everything around the situation yeah. uh, is is is, uh, uh, you know, is basically impacting how she's going to react. Now, you could also say that that could be based off of how the girl dresses while she's by herself. But what happens is there's more of a man to woman situation in that particular situation where all the other things don't matter mm -hmm. as much. That's what I'm trying to say. So what I'm saying is that the odds aren't going to be what, what you're trying to get at is that the variables in that situation are so small that it doesn't matter. You understand what I'm saying? All that matters is if she's fucking with it's you perfect. or not. You see what I'm saying? That's what we're trying to say. Like it doesn't matter yeah. at that point. In the other situation, there's other yeah, variables that go down. That. You see what I mean? I probably should have asked the question a little bit better. You know, it's just like equivalent to like, you know, if you're at the gym, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a fine girl. Uh, you know, instead of just directly hitting on them, a lot of times you can just go and ask them about their workout or ask them about, you know, that, that type of approach usually kind of works a little bit better. I guess that's my question nigga nigga again yo listen man yo yo listen listen bro let me tell you something about odds let me tell you something about odds i can i can we can sit right. here we can we, i can come out with you and bring a fucking uh a fucking like a, a meter like an infrared meter and i could i could walk around with you and you say hey i like that girl right there and we could point the machine at her and press the button and the machine says you have a 40% chance of successfully <laughs> right. dating that girl over there, right? right. Only a 40% chance. Now, are you going to listen to the machine or are you going to say, fuck that, that bitch is fine. I'm going to go holler at her, even though I only have a 40% chance. What are you going to do? You're going to let your life be decided on a fucking uh, 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 statistic or are you going to go try to get what the fuck you're trying to get? Which one? No, I'm gonna try to get what I try okay, to get. Then, nigga. So what do you care about this the odds and the statistics? And, and and oh, if I have a better chance, nigga. If you see something that you want, believe in yourself and go get it. Period. And Nothing I, I, else matters, bro. I think you're thinking too much about the outcome, which is why you care about the odds. That's why I asked you, why do you care? You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Because yes, there are situations where it's gonna be easier to fuck with a chick than other situations. That's just common sense. You understand what I'm saying? Like, if you at a funeral, you're not going to try to pick up a chick whose dad just died, you know what I'm saying, versus you picking Nigga, up a club. You know what I'm Lucario, I would try to pick up the bitch that dad just died. She got, she got, she having daddy issues. This is a perfect right. time for me to get to that pussy. What? Listen, let me tell y'all niggas something, bro. Let me tell you something. My nigga, here's what you really need to ask yourself. What are the odds of me walking out of this store, not saying nothing to the bitch and thinking about that bitch for the rest of the fucking day because I should have hollered? Right. Yeah. That's what you should ask yourself. Because, bro, I've been in too many situations where I've seen the chick that I should have hollered at. And then I, I wait or I act like you and I'm like, oh, what are the odds of? And when I fucking turn around, the bitch is going and I'm like, fuck. And I end up thinking about the bitch for the rest of the fucking day. Like, damn, I right. should have hollered at that bitch because she was fine as shit. Right. And that's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, yeah. at the end of the day, it don't matter because what you're what you're doing is you're putting the the quote unquote odds before the actual action. You see what I'm saying? So the action is first. Yeah. The action is I want to do this. I'm gonna do it. And so what happens is is that. No, I, I agree with that. Right. So the, so the, the odds don't matter because you don't know the what the odds, odds don't matter, bro. The odds don't knows. matter. Nobody knows. Because you know chances, know. sometimes chances come from the places you least expect it. So what do the odds really matter at the end of the day? All right, bro.
Huh? Unless you're kind of confused, you know, usually you can get some type of feedback of, of uh, you know, what kind of went wrong sometimes. But, you know, I just got like a three, uh, a three eyed stare, like, oh, what the hell are you coming up to me? And I just kind of like, no, uh, like, nothing. yo, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what your fucking problem is. Let me tell you what your problem is. And, and please don't get offended. But your problem is, is that you done listen to too many of these other motherfuckers on YouTube. You understand? Mm -hmm. All these other motherfuckers who believe in statistics, oh, who believe... No, 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 no. Shut the fuck up, nigga. You decided to call at the end of the show and, and, and fucking hold niggas up. So I'm going to give you what you want, nigga. I'm going to give you what you want. You can listen to too many of these niggas. And you're, you're stuck in the land of statistics. And you're stuck in the land of... Point eight, yo, it's all about point A to point B. You see something you want, you go get it. And mm -hmm. if and if it's not, if she don't, if she ain't fucking with you, then she just ain't fucking with you. And then you keep going on what you're trying to get. The statistics don't matter, bro. The look, having a it's not about you're a man, bro. Have having trying to make it an easier way to get what you want. That's not your job. Your job is to just go get it. Whether mm -hmm. it's hard or easy, you just gotta go get it, bro. Period. Right. The f like like we're not here to we're not here to to and and we're and we're not here to be like your 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 to make you feel better about hollering at bitches neither so we're gonna tell you oh well your chances increased by 60 percent if you no nigga we're not telling you no go holler at that bitch if she's fucking with you cool if she's not cool and after that go holler at the next bit the next one too why because you're gonna need more than you're gonna need mo you're gonna need multiple numbers at the end of the day anyway because when you get home and you call those numbers back half of them shits is gonna be fake numbers and half of them is gonna go to a voicemail anyway because the thing see at the end of the day this is what you gotta understand it's not about the the it's not about everything else it's about yourself meaning that if your game is tight you create the odds. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? Exactly. Because I think the answer you're trying to look for is what makes, what's the easier strategy? Is that, am I correct? What's like, what's the best strategy? No, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a, a, a better, uh, a better place to go fishing, basically. But that's what I'm saying. You know, it's not uh, about the place. It's like not the place. It's you. That's what I'm trying to say. You're, you're, you're trying to find the, the yeah, things yeah, yeah. outside the situation but the situation is you. It's like, so what I'm saying is yeah. you should be, it's like when people, when guys say, man, you know, online dating sucks. That's why I just approach chicks on the street or I don't, I don't do cold approach. I just do online dating. No, it's, it's you, no matter what situation you got to be able to do the shit to increase the odds based off of you doing the shit and the odds are, are, are happening because you're making it happen. Yeah, That's what I'm trying yeah. to say. So it's not about this. Is what I'm saying, like a guy with tight game, his odds of getting the chick in five different situations are going to be different than the odds of the guy who has no game in those f same five different situations. So it's not it's not the oh the so best the, place. So the guy that has game doesn't know his terrain. Why you know what you're saying? Say it again. The guy the guy that has game doesn't really know and study their their terrain. They just go head in first. No, everything is their terrain. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what we're trying to bro. Bring. Listen, okay. listen. Let me tell you something. You were you look look look. Remember that you were in. What what store was it? What kind of store was it? Grocery store. What 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 store were you in when you saw this chick? No, no. It was uh, the first store was uh, a grocery store. Uh, today was actually a Burlington Coke Factory. <laughs> a what? It was Burlington Coat Factory. Burlington okay, Coat. all right, all right, all right. It, it really doesn't matter. But what I'm trying to say is that yeah. something put you in that store. Do you understand? Wait, were you, you uh, were you buying something from Burlington that day? No, no, man. I was actually just, uh, you know, I just had uh, had hit the mall, and um, no, I just know Burlington has some fine ass bitches in there. So, you know, the mall was kind of dry, so. I went fishing in Burlington. You went fishing in Burlington. Oh, Have oh. you ever bought anything from Burlington? Oh yeah, yeah. I buy it. Okay. And oh. and the mall was dry, and so your brain told you that it might be some bitches in Burlington, right? Well, yeah, I mean Okay, I, all right. No, no, no. That's all we need. That's all we need. Amazon what I'm trying to say to you is listen, 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 listen. What I'm trying to say to you is 
is that you, you is what put you in that store. Do you understand? Yeah. You put yourself in the store. You saw the female and your brain told you that she was attractive. So if all of this is a product of you, why would we worry about statistics? You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I guess if you make it, I'm worried about statistics. I mean, I guess I, I must have framed the question in a in a real horrible way. It wasn't it wasn't meant to sound like that. It was just like I was just asking you guys, you know what? The chicks, you know, are not like gone up or they set up or they like I guess less likely to be more cooperative or not cooperative. But you say it doesn't matter. I guess we'll leave it at that. Right, that's, but that, that's and that's no, and that's what we're trying to. That's what we're trying to. Right, this is what we're trying to explain to you. This is what we're, this is what we're trying to explain to you. It's like this. Let's say a guy called up and said, "Hey, um, let's say he said, hey, how do you get these girls to come meet you off a dating site without them saying, let's get to know each other first and talk on the phone for like a few days, right?" So he said, and he says, what's the, what's the, what's the best way to make that happen? Or what's the statistics of this? What it is, is that it's, it's not that, uh, you know, oh, well, girls are going to be like that, you know, or girls are just like that. It's that he's indulging and dealing and taking time to, to entertain women who do that. You understand what I'm saying? Versus another guy who he's finding those same things, but he's cutting those girls off immediately and only paying attention to the girls who's coming to meet him without all the bullshit. You see what I'm saying? So there's no, there's no like, right. there's no like, oh, this, be- this way is better and that way is better. And this way is going to make it more this way or more likely to that or whatever. It's about the, 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 the man and what he wants, what he understands, what he needs to do. And he goes after that situation. So there's going to be all of these situations that's going to occur but what happens is, is that you're the one who creates the situation that you're going to be in regardless, because did, no matter what you do, there's going to be girls who's going to reject you. There's going to be girls who's going to act funny. There's going to be girls who's going to act mm-hmm. this way and that way, regardless of what you, regardless of uh, uh, where you're approaching them at, regardless of what you're saying, all of that shit. The thing is, is that it still comes back to you. Now, again, if you are a guy who has a tight mouthpiece, if you're a guy who uh, is confident, if you're a guy who whose appearance is on point, right? What's going to happen is, is that you're going to have an easier time in general dealing with women than a guy who's not like that, but you still going to have to fuck with a bunch of these chicks and talk to a bunch of these chicks regardless. So what I'm saying is that it, that it all comes back to the same shit. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's like somebody saying, what's the odds of your business succeeding? Psh, nigga, I don't know. I got to work hard like every other nigga that's doing business. You understand what I'm saying? I got to still do the same shit that you see what I'm trying to say. That's what we're trying to get you to understand. You still got to do the shit, period. There's no there's no secret sauce or no other way to do You see what I mean? That's what we're trying to say to you. There's no uh, uh, secret formula to say, oh, well, if I did business this way, my company is going to make money in two months instead of five years like this. You understand what I'm saying? Like you got to work your ass off. You got to do what you got to do to get that business popping. So it's the same thing for the game. You just got to do your shit. You see what I'm saying? No, that's it, evident. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to shoot your shot. It, it was more uh, uh, of a question in the context. Like for instance, for you, like if you are wearing a suit versus gym clothes, do you feel like your game is more on point? I mean, I, of course you're going to say like your, your game is always on point. But reality is, if you're in a suit and you're smelling good, you're feeling good, sometimes your game is going to come off a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? And that's no, because like, but but see, this is what this is no no no. So this is what this is. See, this is the problem, bro. This is, see, I want to get y'all out this mindset, man. See, okay, you okay? Let's go with what you said. You said if you if you were in a suit versus gym clothes, you're saying your game's going to be a little bit better. Why do you think so? Give me, give me, give me I the reason. I think you probably feel a little bit. I mean, I guess it's a feeling of a little bit more confident. Okay, I mean, that's just for me. Okay, it, okay. Not, now, now, like now. Anything, whatever, but for me, I, it just so it feels a little bit. Okay, you know, got you. Smooth. Now, let me ask you this question: Could you feel that way? That feeling you get of feeling confident more in a suit than 
the uh the you know the 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 gym clothes could you have that feeling no matter what you what you're wearing could i have that feeling uh no matter what i'm wearing yes probably not see that's that's the issue that's your fucking problem that's it right there that's it that's the problem bro that's we just we just identified your problem you understand what i'm saying we just identified your problem right there. You see what I'm saying? Your problem is, is that you're looking for external things to make you feel a certain way about certain things. And then that translates to what you've been asking all the whole time. You've been saying, oh, what, what's a certain thing that I can look out for so that I can, I can get a better chance to get this or that going? You keep looking outside yourself, bro. That's the problem. You see what I'm saying? That's what we're talking about. Yeah, I, 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 I guess this is a lesson, <laughs> right? Because you see what I'm saying. That's what we're trying to get you. Lesson, right. That's what we're trying to get you to, to see. Because that's what I'm saying is confidence, like core confidence, is having that feeling of you feeling good about having no, that that suit on, even if you have no suit on. You understand what I'm saying? That's the core confidence. Mm-hmm. So that that right there, so, that, so having a suit on man really doesn't mean to crease your odds, really. No, no, yeah. no. no. There are no odds, bro. There are no fucking odds. Get it out your brain, bro. I'm agreeing with you, bro. I'm agree- <laughs> hey, hey, don't don't attack me, bro. I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing with you. I just well, so stop using that fucking word, then, my nigga. Stop saying odds is statistics. Bro. Don't say that shit no more, nigga. Don't do it. Because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. There are guys out there. There are guys out there like serious gym rats, right? Guys who work out all the time and they love that shit. And think about this. Because they because that's what they love, they actually feel more confident wearing gym clothes than they would in a suit. So when they actually go up to talk to the girl, they feel uncomfortable wearing the suit, even though they look good and smell good and all the shit you were saying. Because their confidence is lacking. Because they're not in the environment that brings out their core personality, they don't. They're not as successful. And what I'm saying is, it's because of the man in the suit or the man in the gym clothes. It has nothing to do with the clothes, right? And it's coming from your own mind. This is what we're trying to say. This is why we say confidence is from within. Because even though you feel better with the suit on, that's still coming from your own mind that you feel better with the suit on. But what I'm saying is you could feel that feeling seconds. without the suit. That's what we're trying to get you to understand. And then because you feel that feeling without the suit, it's not going to matter whether you approach a girl if she's done up or not, or the chances of, of this happening or that happening, depending on the situation. You see what I'm saying? So what we're saying, what we're saying is, is that, you know, at the end of the day, you got to understand that on you got to get below the surface. Below the surface is, is that that core confidence has to be there regardless. Like the feeling should be there regardless. That's what we're trying to get you to that point. You see what I'm saying? Because until until you get to that point, you're going to constantly be thinking about uh, this shit too much and stopping yourself from making things happen because you're going to be like, damn, that girl look good. But you know what? I don't know. The chances of her, how, you know, give me her numbers probably slim because, <laughs> you know, right now I'm just wearing some sneakers and I don't think she's going to be feeling that. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the type of shit you're going to be thinking about. Instead of realizing, like, yo, I'm the shit, period. I'm going to go over here and see what's popping with this shit. You feel what I'm saying? And you're coming at her fully confident, period. And then that's the thing that's going to make a chick more responsive to you, no matter what the situation is. Like like Miles was just saying, remember when I was like, yo, you more likely will uh, have an easier time hollering at a chick at a club versus a funeral while you're crying. And the first thing Miles was saying was like, fuck that. I don't care where the fuck this chick is. I'm going to holler at her. That's confidence. Because regardless of the quote unquote odds, Miles is saying, I'll do it anyway. Remember what I was talking about earlier about confidence is you having the belief you can right. do it without ever having done it this shit. You understand what I'm saying? You just like, I do it, period. You understand what I'm saying? I do this, period. I don't care what the fuck's going on. You see what I'm saying? Because we could, look, we could go through the odds all day. Let me ask Miles that question. Has he always had that type of belief in himself or is that something that he had to build up over time with his success in life? I've I've always had a certain level of confidence in myself ever since I was little. Um, As far as women, it's something I had to, I had to learn and build 
just through just through games, just, just through years and years of like fucking with bitches, getting rejected, all of this type of shit. You understand what I'm saying? So it's something it's something that's been built up. It's something that's been built up. But I always had a certain opinion of myself ever since I was a child that, that I believed that I could do anything. You understand? Uh-huh. Right. And see, and see, you got to understand that. You know, I, I, I mean, I, I get that. You know, I'm in business, and, you know, I'm in also marketing and all that type of stuff. When it comes to those type of things, I have supreme confidence, you know, no matter who's in the room when we, when we on that subject, I mean, I, I, I will excel, you know, but you know, on su- certain other subjects, you know, I might not feel as comfortable, but I guess it's something that you got to build mm. by, by experience. Does that makes sense. No, but see, that's what I'm saying. You you could do that, but also understand that you still have to have core confidence because what you what you have is like surface level confidence, meaning, okay, I, I know how to do this, so I'm confident in this specific thing. Meaning you can say, look, like you said, look, I'm good with marketing, I'm I'm confident in marketing. But but where's your confidence at when you're not marketing, when you're doing something else? You see what I'm saying? So so what I'm saying is Where's that? Where's that confidence overall? No matter what you're doing, no this matter way, what you're doing, right? Why when you said, "Oh, the, you know, the the guy doesn't think about the terrain. The terrain is everything. I am the terrain. I'm there wherever I'm at." You know what listen, I'm bro. Listen, you said that you have supreme confidence when it comes to marketing. What the fuck you think selling yourself to these bitches is? Right, right, <laughs> exactly. No, Same no, shit. No, no, no. Real. Let me tell you something, bro. Real confidence allows you to take. To, to take the idea from one thing and expand it to another and use your skill in whatever it is you're doing. That's what real confidence is. Real confidence is saying, I'm, I'm good at marketing and I know how people uh, like, you know, because a lot of marketing is psychological because you're selling an experience and a feeling. So, mm. you, so you can do that shit with bitches too, bro. What do you think? Right. Facts. And no, all- no, I- no, you, you said you said something uh, to that effect uh, earlier when I was listening to the show, which I thought was really, really, I mean, I guess a really good mindset is like when you do approach a thing, like you, if you approach ten bitches, they all reject you, uh, reject you. You're like, man, what the fuck is wrong with them bitches? It's like when right. they, if if I make a marketing pitch and I get ten rejections, I'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with them? Exactly. Keep that same energy, nigga. Keep that same energy every time you talk to a bitch. It's the same shit. That's what Mario means when he says everything. Everything is the is the terrain. All of it is your terrain. All of it. So when so whether you're getting rejections from marketing campaigns or you're getting rejections from chicks, it's all the same. But the fact is, you know how to do marketing and you keep going, right? You don't quit. You don't quit a campaign as soon as you get a couple rejections. You keep going. Yes. Right. Right. And that, okay. So it's the and same thing. The the terrain what, is all you. The terrain yeah, is you, bro. To get you. That's what we're trying to get to you, but get to, to you to understand because you're thinking about your see the problem is people be thinking about the particulars and the statistics and the the the, the, the you know the studies and all this other shit. That's why you got so many so many guys on YouTube talking about, yo, I would never get married because statistically this and that had happened, or oh, I would never, you know, do this because you know, I'll never <laughs> date a girl who had this many bodies because statistically, I'm like, nigga, have you ever went out and did shit in real life and actually fucked with a chick? Because most dudes, what they're doing is they're trying to look at the stats. Or the most likely this is going to happen or that's going to happen. But what they forgot is, is that they are them. They're, 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 they're the person that they are. And it's like, fuck what the statistics say. Just like they say, yo, every, what they say, every three out of four businesses fail. And then this is why a lot of people end up not doing the fucking business or, or, or trying not to even bother because they look at the statistics and they'd be like, you know what, man, fuck doing a business. And then they end up just staying at their job and then whatever. You understand what I'm saying? And that's because they were worried about what's most likely going to happen. You understand what I'm saying? And whether the odds, instead of them actually having the confidence, because if they had the confidence, they do it regardless of what the statistics are saying, regardless of what the quote unquote odds may be, because they create the situation. They say, you know, like we said earlier, 50 cents said, I'm going to get rich or die trying. What were the of a business only fails when you stop. Exactly. 50, what was the odds of 50 Cent getting rich? He, he was, there was no guarantee, but he said, yo, I'm going to do this or die trying. That's Period. confident. You see what I'm just, saying? Just like, just like me and Lucario, we've been doing this shit 
for 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 over seven eight years before we even made one dollar off this shit. Exactly, exactly. We just never stopped. Yeah. And, and one last question before I, I get out. I mean, I'll, I'll let you guys. I know you guys probably got a whole bunch of shit to do, but uh, both of you guys, you know, did you guys ever have a coach anxiety? Like, I guess in any setting, like you know, coming through the game. And if you did, how did you get over it? Yeah, of course. Of course. I mean, you you get approach anxiety, but you just keep going. You keep approaching until that anxiety is is nothing. Like that's right. it. See, you got to understand something. A lot of a lot of uh, uh, things that you go through, um, is or, or, or the way you feel about certain things. It's it's fear and your fear and you have the fear through conditioning. You understand what I'm saying? You're conditioned to feel a certain way the way you're feeling. So it's it, it becomes a big deal. But once you get over that, and usually you get over that by doing, then it becomes less and less. So that anxiety, it's like this. If you haven't approached girls in like three or four months, right? You're going to feel that anxiety when you first go back out to approach a girl because you haven't really been doing it, right? Then when you're out with your boys that night, let's say you you, you approach three or four girls already, you start getting in, in the zone. That anxiety is damn near disappeared. You understand what I'm saying? It's disappeared that quick because you're getting in the zone of, of, of doing it. Now, let's say, uh, you know, two months pass by again and you try to go back out again, that anxiety is going to come back. So the thing is, you got to keep uh, 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 being in this situation. You see what I'm saying? You got to keep being in the fucking uh, uh, vibe of the situation and all of that like stuff is going to dissipate. You see what I'm saying? So that that's that's all it is, is that yeah. you got you got to be able to live the life to be able to know how to deal with the life, to handle the life. This is also my earlier where I was saying that a lot of these dudes, when they get girlfriends, they're going to fucking lose their minds when the girl leaves because they, they haven't been involved in this type of shit. They don't know how to handle themselves through those situations. So all of the times when you have that anxiety, that fear, all that other stuff, you know, people have stage fright, people scared to fucking do a bunch of shit because they haven't been immersing themselves in it so that they can actually feel how it feels to be in it so that they can get over the fear of doing it. You see what I'm saying? It, and it goes all across the board. Oh, just just like, there. yeah, just like, just like a lot of people, they there. say, yeah, a lot I've of people there. say, they say, yo, they say, yo, how, they'd be like, Locario, how you deal with being in an open relationship and your, and your girl or your wife or whoever being with another dude? I'm like, nigga, I've been doing this shit for so long. I don't even care anymore. Like before I was like, damn, this is kind of hard because, you know, I'm, I'm new at this shit. But now I'm like, so? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yes, go do your thing. I'm good. You understand? But that's because I immerse myself in the situation. And it goes across, it goes all across the board. You see what I mean? So that's what it is. But yo, bro, we got to head yeah. up out of here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, man, we appreciate the call, man. Thank you so much, man. All right, man. We got to holler. All right, man. Peace, man. All right, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, so whoever else is calling in, man, you got to have to catch us on the next one. Yo, what are the odds that he'll actually take our advice? <laughs> I know, right? Who knows? Who knows? Shit. But see, that's why you gotta you gotta start calling in earlier, man. You, Facts, you know? Bro, like we yo, come on, son. For a minute, we was just like shooting the shit, like right. for real. Right, right. So y'all gotta you gotta remember calling earlier in the show. So when you know well, you, you, you know what it is on some real shit, it's a weekday and niggas is just getting off work because it's five now. That's what right, it is. Right, right, right. Yeah, you that's know? what it is. Right. So you know, but um, but yeah, listen, guys, we appreciate y'all tuning in. Remember. Get this book, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, ebook, hard copy, or audiobook. Go to mrlocario.com to get your copy today. Also, make sure you guys go to Bad Boy Membership to join the Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. And you can also watch the Game Kings documentary on there. You understand what I'm saying? Um, ZK, you're new to the channel. They'll explain it to you later. We ain't got time for all of that. Um, so, listen, uh, we appreciate y'all. Uh, Tune in. <laughs> yo, yo, get on that bad boy membership, man. Check out the Game Kings documentary, man. Fast. For real. All right, man. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, what, what else is there? That's it, right? Yeah, I think we good. I think we good. All right, y'all. We're going to see y'all later. Be safe. Truth is inside you. We are out.